Talk about the Opie and Anthony show. Patrice O'Neill filling in for Jim Norton is going to be on Leno tonight. And now we say hi to an old friend. He's been calling our show, but first time in studio in, I, we think, like two years. Jay Moore, everyone. Yes. Jay Moore, come on! Got a live audience out there. Give him a little, Both a little of something, them. something. Yeah. Friday's the out day. on the uh, bleachers. Jay, you should have came here Friday. There's over 100 people every Friday. It's like Rascals in Ocean Township in the winter. <laughs> 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 I, I, I don't know. Something about now. Opie's been on Twitter for a while. I just uh, entered the world gay. of fucking Twitter last night. I don't like night. the Twitter. Why? What do you think is so interesting that people? That how many people are into your Twitter? How um, many people? Thousands, right? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm like I'm up to seventeen thousand or so. I'm no, off he's the off. The grid. He's off the grid. He decided I'm to go off the grid. Slowly going off the grid, baby. He's pulling everything. Fuck really? It. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. It might be good for people working, but <laughs> <laughs> if I can get a job, I'll go completely you, off the grid. You don't man. Facebook you're not, you're or anything? You're, you're not at no. Helium this weekend? No. No. You don't Facebook or anything, Jay? Uh, you I don't like, need to, though. If you I say understand. Jay Moore, you can come if they come. Yeah. It's like how Nipsey Russell used to do it. That's why. That's why. Ryman. That's why I just canceled the Lisner Auditorium in DC. Oh shit! Jim Jeffries canceled it too. I read. Really? Yeah. Because nobody fucking buys tickets. No one has money right now. Fuck that! They got take. I thought entertainment was. Why am I shouting? First of all, he's yelling. Patrice eating a big fucking thing of watermelon. Way to break a stereotype, you fucking moose. I think I sound just like Jimmy as I sit here. <laughs> fucking chewing on his fork. <laughs> uh, he likes I, watermelon. You know. I don't know why. What you you should make fun of his pit. black man it's can't nice eat hat. watermelon. You should make fun of his it's a blues. nice hat. I like his hat. When do you have to get it back to Clyde Frazier? <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice hat. <laughs> Nothing on Clyde Frazier. I laughed. I like the Clyde. I Frazier know you reference. liked it. He was swishing and dishing on his good. way into the studio Enough this morning. Enough with the big words. I just need a little play-by-play and a little color commentary. I love him. I have penetrating and percolating. It's going good. Picked up. Uh, we got a full season pickup, yeah. Now you got to sit around and wait for the second season. You want to come what, on? The, what do you mean? We can use a colored. <laughs> well, I thought you. I thought you had Holy one. Shit! No, we got. Isn't it? Don't you have like a fucking third world guy on there? Something has to be mixed. A third Al Madrigal. I think I, I watched He's a few Mexican. times. Like your kids. <laughs> third <Okay>. world. <laughs> third world something for CBS to fucking have one there. I think one of your kids is kind of black, like some half black kid or something. It's like the kid that plays my son looks exactly like Andre Ethier from the Dodgers, which no one in the studio mm, audience will get. Yeah. Kenny, that coffee's delicious. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Coming unlock, right up. Let me unlock the toilet Jane? for Opie first. <laughs> and then I'll get your coffee and stir it with my nose. Dude, they guard that stupid bathroom. What's going to happen? I'm an angelfish. <laughs> <laughs> you are getting successfully plump, too, my friend. No, I, I'm actually slimming down. I got huge for uh, the movie Street Kings. You, what, did you gain weight for a huge. movie? Oh, yeah, I was all worried. Robert De Niro, motherfucker? I was worried out of my get face. Get over yourself, nigga. Cop, they told me to. <laughs> you were they doing... told you to get fat for a movie? No, I wasn't fat. I was yoked, dude. I was big. You were doing a Raging Bolt thing? Or... What, like muscles? Bro, was, oh, you were Jack. Oh, Jack for Street Kings? Yeah, because I, I, I had to be the guy that, like, Keanu Reeves and Hugh Laurie and Forrest Whitaker were afraid of. Like I, I, I'd but be... you was only in it for, like... Yeah, that's why I'm doing fucking television, because you don't get cut out of it, stupid. <laughs> There's an entire I scene. Street Kings. I'm like Jay Moore's in Street Kings. <laughs> oh, he got shit. buffed for a fucking special guest, Jay Moore. I got buffed for the script. <laughs> for an under five, did you get? <laughs> you ain't oh, lying. Got muscles for an under five. It was hopeful for there's a little there's more time on the big screen. Oh, oh, all the, it was all in the script. You know, there's an entire scene where I'm talking to Keanu Reeves in the uh, bodega when he when he in the Forest Whitaker. You saw it, right? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Forest Whitaker's like maybe when I come back in here, maybe this tape. <laughs> We'll be missing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Ah, uh, protect you. <laughs> I only do black guys. I saw in that movie too, with that bad eye. I <laughs> am. Uh, I am chewing up this scene. <laughs> I could not be more proud of my men. <laughs> I only do black guys now. <laughs> and chicks. That's fucking great. And there's an entire uh, like three minute scene where me and Keanu Reeves are going back and forth, like we're almost gonna fight. And the whole scene, you just see my left ear and Keanu's gorgeous little face. <laughs> and I went, "That's it. Get me a show." Why would they do that to somebody and have them adjust to what they look like in a movie that they're not sure you're gonna fucking be in enough to look good? Well, I don't know, Patrice, but you're making me feel good. No, I'm, what, 
what, what, what no. nigga? You, let me tell you something. Yeah, I love when black guys call me nigga. <laughs> Fucking. Yesterday I was coming, I was walking down uh, 55th Street, and some guy goes, "Oh, that's my nigga." Oh shit, what's that nigga's name? <laughs> <laughs> Jay. I just kept walking. Has <laughs> never not worked. I, I like. I've been in the game a long time. Jay is all since I met him. Jay's been one of those dudes that just never didn't have. Never a went job. away. Coffee, right. please. Never. Uh, Kenny, where's yeah. this coffee? How Come long on. I gotta wait? It's like charcoal already. <laughs> In a minute. <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's fucking. Don't you guys have coffee here? Uh, you think? Fucking, you don't want. not able to function without this coffee. I can function, but now it's like a matter of principle. You don't, I want my fucking. You don't want coffee. the coffee we make Why here. Why is it non Lewis? There you like go, a you're asking the, Oh, you went to Starbucks? Uh, for you, uh, just for you. Freshly shaven Kenny? Yes. You're the best, for you. you're the best honey. The best one about uh, Kenny, he looks like the, an Excel train. That's that's the best one that came in. Excel <laughs> train, yeah. That's no, the best I, one. When that Jimmy's in, in L.A., whose car do you pull around? <laughs> I think it was like, the, my favorite Kenny is actually. I think it was Jay's line where he said he looked like an angel fish. Oh yeah, he said it right. <laughs> yeah, an Danny. angel oh, fish. Danny. <laughs> Danny. Yeah, yeah, he really really said it. Really is. Oh, that was like an angel fish. That was yours. Yeah, yeah. I did it. On the, the, I called you from the set of Ghost Whisperer. Okay. And I put uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt on the phone with yeah. you. And I look, and I said he looked like an angel fish. Yeah, all right. Because we use that one all the time. Some of these things you get blurred. You don't remember Still where married? it came from. Huh? Still married? Oh yeah. Who you married? <laughs> Somebody famous, right? Amanda <laughs> Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Who you married to, Jay? Nikki Cox. You really didn't know that? What the fuck? Give me a break. That's a big nigga. I know. I know. Uh, you know enough about white people. You don't. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, I, I, Nikki, give that's me a break. fallen I, into I, a whole I know new category. He was married to someone famous. Someone that had a, a name. How many so, kids you got? None. I tried. I was trying to get my girl pregnant just to see if I could. I'm Why? trying to get her pregnant. And, uh, and, uh, and she's getting her breasts are getting. So you might you might have done it. This is big news. <sighs> it's what she could be on a period. Uh, but mm. I think she's been trying to throw herself down the well, stairs. Well, she's on a period, she then she's not pregnant. One. She doesn't want to have one? Nah, she has. I she, thought she would want one she with you. Uh, she would, but... It, just she, to see if you could do it, and then she's just going to fucking yeah, just throw herself fun. down the stairs. But I never yeah. came inside of a woman. I'm going to tell you, if I found that out Why? when I was younger, I'd have eight kids. I'd be Sean Kemp if I found out <laughs> yeah. how fucking good coming inside of a vagina. It, it just... You never fucking... Always... Always pulled, you pulled out on and your face, titties, stomach. Mm -hmm. never. You never just left it in and fucking sh buried it deep and mm -hmm. fuck that. Recently, shit. And, it's, and it's, addic stress. it's addicting. No it's shit. Addicting. That's why this planet's crawling with humans. <laughs> it's it's fucking, fantastic. Oh, it's just, I'm trying. I'm trying to have kids now. Yeah. So like, I I would never waste one. You're constantly just creaming. And right inside. Cream pie. And go, come on my tits. And you go, no, no, no. no. I won't. No. I won't. <laughs> I won't. I sound like the gay guy on uh, Mean Streets. Would you tell him to calm down? I won't. And you have, and you have my kids. I have a six-year-old from a previous disaster. <laughs> <laughs> my son was born two months premature because he couldn't wait to get away from that cunt either. <laughs> wait. Friday fart song, guys. Uh, uh, the kid is. <laughs> your son is now six. That yes. went fast. Wow, that's fucked up. Six yeah. one two twenty. Who could win in a fight? You or Tracy Morgan? I don't know. You'd kill him. Yeah. I don't know. Come Tracy's on, from Tracy. Brooklyn. What's like, that mean? So is Riddick Bowe. He's in jail. I don't know. So he'd fight dirty, is what he's I wouldn't. Right? Even, I don't have no clue. Where are you from? I'm from Boston. Boston, that's right. Yeah. yeah. You, that's you know, we, that's we met. The second someone got hurt, it would just end in gunfire. <laughs> it's just the way yeah, it works. I have no clue. <laughs> but, but there's no comic that I think of that I go, there's one, uh, like, like Corey Holcomb looks like he can fight. Yeah. Joe Rogan. Uh, Rogan. Rogan can kick I, ass. But if I didn't know Rogan was a dangerous human being. You wouldn't think he... I, I'd, I'd go, for, I'd go for Rogan, but oh, man, would that be a mistake? But, that, wait a minute, but that, I, 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 know, I know he's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I didn't know he was dangerous, who I go? Well, I don't know if I fuck with him. It's, there's not many comics you go. Oh man, you get a little nervous physically. Yeah. What are you? you know, Rogan's a guy. If he had a, if I had a bat in my hand and he said, "Come on," <laughs> I would lay the bat down. And I'm swift talking because yeah, we yeah. know this motherfucker is a dangerous weapon. I'm talking about looking at him. I don't know if True. looking at him Rogan. he looks scary. Yeah. Well, he's all roided out. Oh, he <laughs> looks, like <me> and, <laughs> looks like me in Street Kings. <laughs> is he bigger now? He's a big he's boy. A I just already know that that fucker can fight. So I'm talking about. Remember his, Mitch you know, Mullaney? Rest his soul, he died. The guy from Oakland, uh, Nick Frino, like Yeah, teacher. big Mitch Mulaney. We were in a fight with this guy, this Harbor Heights Mexican Mafia guy in the uh, Laugh Factory. This guy got crazy and just started fighting everybody. And it was like me, 
Like, Tony Rock ran inside the second the fight broke out. His breath fought, though. But there's a, there's a, there's a story about Tony uh, tagging a couple of motherfuckers up in L.A. That Tony's uh, boxing people up. Alonzo, well, I was, Alonzo Bowden I was looks at like a fight. he might be able to fight a fight. I was at yeah. a fight where Tony Rock ran inside and held my jacket. This one. What? Ralphie May was fighting. Jamie Masada was fighting. Tony Rock ran inside. Really? Because this guy was, like, whacked out on PCP, and he had all the tats and stuff. And, um... It got broken up, and then him and his friends were trying to get him out of the uh, the little foyer. And then as they're pulling him out, you know, me, Mr. Big Mouth, I said, "Yeah, fuck you and your set." And then all his <laughs> oh, friends that were holding shit. him back went, "What? What? What? Ah, what?" So now there's go. three people like that want to fight. <laughs> and his set, like, like, his... why would you even say that? Because fuck him, I was mad. This I was is L.A. Fuck him and his set. <laughs> Yo, I'm crazy. <laughs> fuck him and the Crips. Like, just leave him alone, motherfucker. Fuck that. Because he's, he's a fucking piece of garbage. You host the last comic standing. Just go inside and shut your fucking mouth. And you know how I got that job in the octagon. I earned it. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, I'm not saying I'm going to fuck up Joe Rogan. Then people turn into something. Y'all don't do that. If you're... I seen him, like, where you go, badass, you go, man, man this, does fuck this motherfucker ass. look like something? I don't know. You saw Andre, what's his name? The fucker that looks like. You know that's going to turn into that on the message boards. Patrice said he could fuck. Guy? Kick uh, your ass, the Joe. baddest dude in the world, Fedor. Oh yeah, Fedor was sitting there looking just like a guy. You just go. I'm Were just, you here I'm when we push Fedor? Yeah. Were you happens. here when we interviewed Fedor? Yeah. I was in Irvine Scary. listening to you guys in the replay. You could great. hear the, the the fear in our voices. I like right? I like halfway through the translation, he'd go. But <laughs> 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 he doesn't look like somebody that walks in and will fuck you up. But You're he's just, crazy. You don't remember he Mitch Mullaney? Doesn't, dude. He had that look in his eye, man. But we, you, hold we already on. knew. Let me rewind real quick. You think, do, you, do you remember Mitch Mullaney? Weird, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. We were in this fight in the sidewalk, and we fought this guy for a half hour because he wouldn't go down. He was on PCP. Right. And I mean, four people hit this guy. From his hairline <laughs> to his forehead for 30 minutes. Bow, 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 bow. And he just going, fucking niggers, fucking niggers. Just kept yelling it over and over. Four white guys hitting him. He just kept he yelling just said, Let's, He kept yelling, fucking niggers. We get blamed. <laughs> you earned it. <laughs> so Mitch Mullaney pulls up in like a 72 Cadillac coupe and he gets out. And apparently Mitch grew up like in Oakland fighting. Like that was his thing. But he's like a nerdy white guy. Yeah. And Mitch gets out of his car, goes, All right. And like pulls up his pants and just starts like hitting the guy's friends like he's boxing the hell out of the guy and like hitting the guy's friend when he feels like it. <laughs> like wow take that with you like, like mitch was good with his fingers crazy like the uh, like richard you Pryor's ali richard, joke you like take richard, that with you mitch Mullane, he had it uh, mick freno was his his break that was he had a show called mick freno on wb my i don't remember i'll, I'll have to google him yeah mitch Mullane. So mitch can box, yeah it was crazy and we were all like thank god he diabetes came in. so you know he grew up with black people. like that motherfucker you, <laughs> you, know, you don't the, hear about white people he died of the diabetes yeah he had diabetes what at, were you at the Tyra thing yesterday, Patrice? Yes, I called it. <laughs> How great was that? You see that? Some <laughs> Only a group of black women would start something that riotous. <laughs> oh my God, that car going to blow up! <laughs> a, car, a car with smoke coming out of it. Ten th and you see the close-ups of some of those models? Oh, yeah. Ooh, They're models. wearing wave caps. Stay home. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Randy Moss at 5'6". <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that car going to explode. You see all the slut clothes on, in the street? I didn't see the slut clothes. Oh, I that, just saw the ones that... They had to clean it up I like they clean up snow. <laughs> <laughs> so much. I saw a group photo. It looked like employees of Dwayne Reed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, he got that? Like, uh, uh, the, 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 Obviously, a shitload of fucking people in front. They kind of did a who thing. It was time to open the doors and everyone pushed forward. But why was there a he? It was a, yeah, right? a group of female models and yeah. some girl goes, Oh my God, he got a gun. There was a gun? No, but they just, they caused yeah, hysteria. Somebody oh, said oh, somebody, somebody said had a gun. Where are you performing, Patrice? I don't know. Hmm? Nothing. Hmm. Where, uh, Patrice, where? Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie. Where? He's off the grid. He March, doesn't want to plug. March 20, my only one people You just there. got your website up. March 27th and 28th. Yeah, you were excited about that website for I a while. was excited about it. You were doing it. videos and stuff. Um, Everyone was taking a look at it. Well, after this thing, man, I'm just I'm just falling a little bit. I'm going to give information. Your I'm Patrice O'Neill, the, 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 the font that I liked, and the, your, 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 that, Dude, your website yeah, the, the, was good. I really liked the it. pirated Patrice. Disney It'll font. Be I didn't want to say it in case there's a problem. Oh, well, of course. CBS, man, now, Anthony. Man, I 
back. It'll be back. <laughs> Satellite uh, now. Just, yes. But just information. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to follow. I'm just going to follow. No, no easy pass. Just a little info. None of that shit. No mm-hmm. easy pass. None You're of that crazy. shit. No Why? easy pass. He's easy like Tony Soprano. So easy. Take the fucking OnStar That's out of the easy. goddamn he's Escalade. Like, he's like Paulie. You got to go knock on his door to give him his dates. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Paulie talked to no one. Now I got to turn my back on you. <laughs> what are you doing in town, Jay? Do we know? That's right. Uh, just press for the thing, the show. But the thing. you're married. Why the are you, thing. Why are you press downplay that? for the thing. Why are you downplaying that? <laughs> I watch the show. It's, it's a big hit. I tell you what. It's yeah. They got him. It's a show where a guy almost can be a dude. They got him almost as a dude, and I'm not. That's not an insult. <laughs> I know no, what you mean. I'm, it's not no, an we were just talking about this this morning. It's all, so. He's almost where like, every white know, guy on TV is just a fucking he's not a douche. Complete he's fucking slouching yeah. towards Gamora. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Just a Who poor was talking about douche. that book here? Slouch- huh? Who was talking about slouching towards Gamora? Nick DiPaolo. Yeah, right. But every white guy on TV is yeah. just like, yeah. okay. Honey. It's just the worst. We, we were talking about that commercials where the fucking wife is inside looking at her incompetent husband trying to barbecue. Yeah. And he's like running back and forth on fire. And she's like, oh, that idiot. But your wife, <laughs> like, like, the fuck, that's what white people are now, wife, white guys. Your wife on the show still does shit that you just go, that real, it just wouldn't happen. Like, she interferes with yeah. a little bit of this and that. Like, you just you just go, but that's what I'm saying. It's like almost there, but an ex-wife having that much say in a guy's life, <laughs> you just go, just shut the fuck. This <laughs> stupid <laughs> mouth. <laughs> like, because some of it's not even with the kids. That's how it it's is in just, rehearsal. You know. <laughs> <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jay. I love Jay. <laughs> you know, like when you get a script, play along, Patrice, but when you get a script in show business. Oh, oh. oh. fair enough. As I get thrown off, I swear to God. I'm, oh, trying to, I'm just trying to figure out how to get him. His, his big <laughs> reference is Corey Holcomb. <laughs> as a fighter, but as a comic, too. What about Gary Great. Goldman? I almost fought Gary Goldman. Gary looks like a fucking Who wins guy. in a fight, me or Gary Goldman? My eyes. No, no, no. Just by look, I don't know. By eyes. By, by, Is that by a fucking looking, staring contest? Is, that, no, by <laughs> Is Chris looking, Jericho here? Jericho. We're going to have a blink off? He could scrap. You I know that. I know Jay could scrap. Right. He's from Jersey and he got a big mouth. Yeah. So you know he had the beef. Gary's he, intense, though. Gary Goldman, I'd say Gary would beat Jay. Just looking. That's what I mean. Let's just ask looking Jay. At the what two, do you think, Jay? You know. Oh, I don't. It'd be over it's quick. Uh, you or him? I'd win, yeah. Nice. We almost got in a fight on Last Comic Standing, and yes. then it got separated, and then I was driving away. I had an assistant at the time, this kid Charlie, and Charlie was a big dude, man. Charlie was like 300 <clears> pounds, <throat> like 6'6", defensive end, he played for Miami, yeah. and we're driving away, and I go, you know what bothers me? I go, look at Corey Holcomb over there, just standing there outside. Just look, you know, what bothers me the most is Corey Holcomb thinks that Gary Goldman would have beat me up. And then my <laughs> assistant looked at me like... <clears throat> Like, that's what I think, too. And I go, turn the fucking car around. <laughs> and I went back. We made a U-turn in the CBS City Center parking lot. And I got out of the car, and I went into, Corey, I went into Gary, Old, uh, Gary Oldman. Gary Goldman. Jay, what are you doing here? Yeah. I went into Gary, uh, <laughs> Gary Goldman's dressing room and said, all right, motherfucker. And then he threw a bottle of water at me, and Tammy Pescatelli held him back. Tammy? Really? But I got held back by Alonzo. What about Philly? I got held back by Alonzo. Why the street anger, though, Jay? I can't have a fucking assistant thinking I would have gotten beaten but up. But why, like, would, like why he did me a are you favor. not above that? What is wrong with you? I'm above it now. Because I don't give a shit about anything. That shit was last week. Last time I standing. That was two cool. years ago. That's, that's a while ago now. Gary Gomez was four years ago? I was yeah. married to someone else. Mm. Oh, so he was making things different. Well, why I was an angry, that? angry, angry, upset, not happy person. <laughs> Just wanted to beef. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I couldn't hit her. <laughs> no. Nikki calmed you down. Like, Nikki helped her. Turn my whole life. Save my life. Do, now, do you feel like you're just as funny as you was when you was angry? Or? Way funnier. You're funnier now? Yeah, because it's, all, it's not an act. It's all personal things that happened to me. It's all stories that really happened. It's not like I'm not on stage to, like, get pussy or, like, uh, to impress everybody. Stories. Right. Okay. Okay. St- stories. That's, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, Philly's own uh, Keith Robinson? What do you think? Keith can beef. Keith can fight. God Keith can damn fight. it, Patrice! You know I can fight. God damn it! <laughs> He's the one that pissed in the black man today. God damn it! I told. I was with. I was with Kevin. You remember Chappie from Boston? I was with Chappie. Cha- Chappie's in. He's an actor. He's in every, And he's in this movie. The, the, he's, he's on the, the Showtime show. show. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Chappie and Keith Robinson were in my apartment playing uh, Madden, and <laughs> Keith was running the shit. Like Keith had everyone crying. Like we were not not 
at a laugh there. You could not beat. He was the Cowboys. You could not beat him at Madden. Right. And he's playing Chappie, and Chappie's the Pats or somebody. He's like, God, I'm gonna run right, Chappie. God damn it. I'm gonna run right. God damn it, Chappie. I told you I'm gonna run right. Look at that. Oh, I got a touchdown, Chappie. God damn it. <laughs> Chappie is like. Okay. Chappie's like a crazy, like South Boston, angry, angry, angry oh, South he's Boston white man. White. Oh, yeah. white. Like yeah. he could beat up. He could beat up Joe Rogan. So oh, shit. You can't teach rage. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, he's totally white, total Whitey Bulger. You know, he went and paid back Whitey Bulger, he everything he owns, and uh, at the candy store. And Kevin Weeks, Whitey Bulger's like muscle guy, goes uh -huh. was staring at him the whole time. And then Whitey Bulger looked up at Chappie and goes, "What about the points, Chappie?" And he's like, "What do you mean?" He goes, "What about the juice that you owe?" Chappie goes, "Look, I've been sober a year." You know, I used to smoke crack, and I'm sober now, and I don't drink. That's every penny I've ever owned in my life. I'm going home to a mattress on the floor. You can kill me right fucking now. <laughs> That's all I got. And get this fucking monkey out of my face. <laughs> oh, shit. Kevin Weeks is like, but like this close, you know? And Whitey Bulger, like for a minute, just stares at Chappie and goes, All right, you're all right. Go ahead, get out of here. Him and his wife go on vacation to the Grand Canyon with another couple, and everyone said Whitey Bulger, that's where he went when he went on the witness protection program. He wouldn't pose for photos of the Grand Canyon because he was afraid Whitey Bulger would see him. <laughs> Cha this is, wow. yeah, Chappie. Like Whitey ran, he was the guy. Chappie was, was like, a go, fucking Southie. Go over there and pose for a picture. Chappie's like, no, 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 I'll, I'll take it. You guys go ahead. Like he bet he would take it, but he wouldn't pose because he didn't want Whitey Bulger to go. There's that motherfucker. <laughs> and by the way, same the Grand like, Canyon. Kind of there. I'm, I'm, for some reason, I was up all night one night just looking at most wanted every state, most wanted anything. Just yeah. Looking at who's wanted. He's up there. Um, interesting. Two things. One, Whitey Bulger is in the world's most wanted. Yeah. Really? Not just FBI. Not just North. Oh yeah, they want that motherfucker. The, along bad. with cartel dudes from Mexico. And a couple and, a, and some Russian dude that looks like a Chinese dude from uh like Kazakhstan, Whitey Bulger's in the top ten world's most wanted motherfuckers with Bin Laden, and that was interesting. And the second most interesting thing is in New Jersey, the top wanted person in New Jersey is uh, a black woman who shot a cop, shot a state trooper thirty years ago and went to Cuba. And ha they haven't been able to get her from Cuba. They know She's where she like is. The most wanted. Do you know her name? In Jersey. Jersey uh, how long before there's free blank T-shirts floating around? <laughs> and no, and that's how come every time a black person gets arrested, you gotta f I have to fucking free them. Why free, not? <laughs> free James Brown. James Brown took a shotgun and unloaded it into a police car. <laughs> Fuck James Brown. Free Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson puts kids' asses up to his face. Free the juice. OJ lopped off two people's heads like a fucking homemade guillotine. If that husky, if that Akita could have talked. He would have been in jail ten years ago. They would put that dog on the stand. That nigga did it. <laughs> the dog had blood on the dog's all mad. He's got blood on his little fruity feet. Oh my <laughs> you know the kid. That's why I yeah. need that coffee. Jay just, <laughs> Jay just had a, Jay just woke up. A big glass of his act. Right. No. Oh, God damn. <laughs> that fruity Akita could have put OJ away. But it's stupid. I hate Akita. The, oh. the tail curls forward, so you got to stare at their asshole all day, <laughs> and they know it. And their their hind hair, their leg on their hind leg always is always poofed out. <laughs> <laughs> There's always loose chains and shit stuck to their ass. It's never clean. There's always a mint <laughs> from a diner. Oh, shut up. That's funny. You're going to be in Poughkeepsie? <laughs> <laughs> Poughkeepsie. Tell the date. I don't want you off the grid. You're too funny, bro. March 27th yeah, to 28th. What's, what's up with that? We have to have the, an intervention with you. You can't go off the grid. Why are you doing only two days in Poughkeepsie? What else are they doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Friday, Saturday, or Saturday, Sunday? <laughs> no, that's Tuesday, Wednesday. Friday. Uh, who that's farted? Friday and Saturday is. Did you fart? Yeah. I was trying to oh, Jesus. It, whatever, you know what? You laughed too hard not and you bad. popped one out. I'll be honest with you, not, been, actually not for, bad. I was doing it when fucking the, the, the ink girl was in there. It smells like... <laughs> it smells like stars were running. Over there. It, it smells like, like, it smells like <laughs> fall meat. It smells like soy, soy duck. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not sound like, man, not bad, Mike and the Mad Dog. It's a little sweet. Patrice O'Neill fought it. We're going to be back on the fan in the flesh. <laughs> well, he's vegetarian now. So. Yeah. We was talking about Jay, and you guys said something. Jay did the best something in the business. Oh, my God. The only something. 
Well, the, the, impre- the, 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 one the, the impression was good about Jay's impression. And that, Your rosary's listen. backwards. Could you turn it around for me? It's oh, making it's me nuts. Yeah. All the fucking uh, Colin. Please show a little respect, uh, officer. All the Colin Quinn is. Colin's great. Colin, and, no, there was Colin. one, though. Uh, you want to fight, officer? Uh, not the Christopher <laughs> Walken <laughs> Get thing. Get the hell out no, of my house. We've been like, down that road. Obscure, There's a newer one. Obscure, Tracy? He does obscure... Chris Penn, fucking thing. Norm McDonald, <laughs> really good, man. Obscure impressions are the best thing. Norm McDonald, would you say you? Would you now? Would you put now? This is he's another one that's uh, you. You two, there's there's rare with guys that do impressions that do good ones mm-hmm. are funny motherfuckers at the same time. It's it's very rare. Mm-hmm. But would you put yourself? Would you put yourself up against? What's the guy? The the dude from TBS. Oh, Caliendo? Yeah, would you yeah put... I declared war on him a while ago. <laughs> I wanted like a Biggie Tupac thing going. Who's, who's better? Than, who do you think is as war. good or better? You I go, think I I'm better him. because I make I no, make. No, up... anybody, anybody who does it. I think the best impression I've ever seen was was Roger Cable. It was the best I've. I that's saw. where I learned. That's where I learned to do walking. Watching him. Roger Cable. Yeah, I thought I Roger Cable guy. was the Nobody, best. No, he was too in, crazy for the best. For really. I'd be surprised if you still alive. How about Aries Spears? Would you go up against Aries? <laughs> no. <laughs> not, not, against what? Him, not Aries, but you think you're as good as him in, in As an impressionist? Who does he do? Star Jones? What does he do? He does Shaq. He does I just, um, I just make his eye go a little But that's what he does. <laughs> so I mean, look, I just did it in my fucking sleep. What are you talking about? <laughs> I do a lot of fucking famous <laughs> things, don't I? Chase declared war on all these guys. But Chase, don't you understand? Bill Walton broke the code of the big man. Wow. That's code two 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 point seven. Those below do not criticize those above. <laughs> In his sleep. I got four rings, he's got one. So he needs to shut his mouth. <laughs> do that. There you go. Motherfucker, i I don't have to Name other black people. Yeah, yeah let's go. Wanna hear my Chris Tucker? Black people. That don't I, yeah. That doesn't count. It doesn't count. Because you, you don't have to, like don't the, have to know English. Right, all right, Denzel. <laughs> I can't do Denzel. But I saw a guy on YouTube do it. He was phenomenal. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> All right, you got me. I See, I, I, he, I'm not going to go the easy route where it's like people do a, man, you know, the Chris Tucker. Oh, I, mean, I don't, I don't, even, say, I don't even say words. What's a... Go ahead. Chris <laughs> Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 radio. Beep, 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 man. Man, man. We be letting you know. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Motherfucker sounds like traffic. <laughs> He's terrible. <laughs> terrible. God damn. You think you're too heavy to laugh at her. Oh, oh, really? Uh, <laughs> that's good, right? Beep, beep, man. He's you do, you mo- do rock? I know you must do a Chris Rock. You got to. No, I, I, he's like my favorite comic, though. You don't do a Chris Rock. Well, all I can do with him is like re- regurgitate what he already says. And But I really... My favorite thing about doing impressions is creating my own act for those people okay like i hate when people do an impression of somebody to do something that they, they do say movie or like when yeah. caliando does seinfeld he's like what's wrong with people yeah. like the, like well i've heard jerry seinfeld say that i think caliando's uh the, the one that's the, the john madden well, is, here's a guy he jumps, he, he jumps he goes higher and he runs like did you do that before him though did no, you I'm just do doing, that? when you say them, I but just I'm, do them. But he <laughs> fucking, no one does a fucking Madden. Like that. I just did it. It was pretty good. <laughs> if you that. No, he does, a really, you. he does a really good Bush. Who? Caliendo. He, he does. He does a really good Bush. And he does a good Al Pacino. And I understand phone, that shit. Good. You nope. know what? No, he does Pacino too. How about young Pacino? How about fucking Dom uh, Dan? Ant does okay, young. Okay, well, Vietnam veterans, we don't mind killing. That don't mean nothing to us. Ant does it's the time, young It's Tyne Daly from Cagney and Lacey. No, I just voice. do the young Al Pacino with the broken jaw. Yeah. What if he's a dirty cop? He was a bad cop. We have people on the papers. You know, yes. you got to have you got to have the uh, the broken jaw one. The broken jaw. Look, yeah. we'll go someplace. All right, here's a uh, all right, dog day afternoon. Okay. Any W play all the hits. <laughs> well, you got a boss. Why am I talking to you then? <laughs> How about his boyfriend? You want to talk to him? You talk to him. He'll kill me. I <laughs> always with the robe. Why, the Leon? Robe. Why now? When things are going so well, I did everything up as down as. Is there a Harvey Keitel? You're kidding. I'm asking. You haven't heard the Harvey. 
That's I'm, a big one. I'm at, You've there, never heard me do Harvey Keitel? Oh, yeah. like you don't know, listen to our show. Is there a Ooh, Harvey Keitel? Sniznap. <laughs> is there a Harvey Keitel? Flizzum oh, yeah. <laughs> <Zip, laughs> zap, zap, zap. Oops. There is a Harvey Keitel. Is he able to be in the, uh, have an impression done of him? Oh, you know hell I mean? yeah. What right, movie? What's the Harvey Keitel? Bad what's, Lieutenant? Bad Lieutenant. Let a, Gentlemen, the series must go seven games. The revenue money alone. Between those two towns, there's no jobs in this town, uh, is there? You got you a kid Come on, Daniel's eyes, eyes. Good eye, you nigga cocksucker! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like when he's smoking crack in the hallway. And, uh, now he's Michael Winslow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy, uh, his crack dealer goes, you know, that shit's going to kill you. And Kaito goes, what kind of businessman are you? You can't even back your own product. <laughs> 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 Women get raped every day. Now this one wears a penguin suit. They put up a reward. <laughs> the church is a racket. What the fuck's wrong with you? Are you a Catholic? I'm a Catholic. I'm blessed. <laughs> you know, this guy will blow up your fucking house with your family in it. Good. He'd be doing me a fucking favor. <laughs> <laughs> Say the goddamn words. <laughs> Who's going to be okay? Say the goddamn words. Wait, what's that from? Uh, Reservoir, Reservoir Dogs. Dogs. Reservoir yeah. Dogs. Yeah, it was God damn, now, Ghost now I want some fucking... Excuse me, are you a doctor? Then you admit your medical opinion means nothing. <laughs> Why can't you do a Denzel? Because I haven't, because I don't know. He hasn't tried, really. Dean does a great job. Dean, Dean, a, a Dean great, Edwards, right? Dean, yeah. He's he a good, good impression. Denzel's a rough one, man. Dean does a great That's Tracy Morgan. Kind of, he's Forrest Whitaker. Generic. I, I got, you know what? I'm being an asshole because he did do Forrest Whitaker and a Harvey yeah. Keitel. Yeah. 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 Which is a big deal. I can do Ina, the Barefoot Contessa from the Food Network. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get as obscure as, po yeah, right. as, as obscure as possible. As so, obscure. I sound like my son. Oh, right. Daddy, I'm trying to be as obscure as possible. You're gonna be okay! Say the goddamn words! You're gonna be okay! Did you have to say the goddamn words? No, that's the only one we got on that, unfortunately. <laughs> You're gonna be okay! Hey, does the, love blood back here. Hey, does the son have a sense of humor yet? Uh, it's terrible. Oh, yeah, he's a scientist. He's not like uh, a particularly. He'll go, Daddy, you want to hear something funny? What's two plus two? I'll go, what? He'll say, cookie. And I'll just stare at him. But I don't like go, oh, that's great. I look at him like, that's terrible. That's all. <laughs> that's a great way to raise kids. Just be so adult with them. Just like, that you just stunk. You can maybe mix that in the middle, but I wouldn't do it up top or at the end. Like, you can blend it in at, you know, at like minute 11. Just say it as an aside while you sip your coffee. Don't open it with that. Second show Friday. You can say that after you ask a waitress for coffee. <laughs> What's the name of the club in Poughkeepsie? Bananas. 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 Now, is it Friday, Saturday, or Saturday, Sunday? Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Now, who's there? Why aren't you there Sunday? I don't know. Maybe he wants to rest. Yeah. He's trying to get his his chick pregnant. Mm -hmm. You know, he needs Sunday. Let's, try my Let's take a break and, she, okay. uh, and regroup. Uh, Let's take a goddamn break. Jay Moore, first time in studio in like two years. <laughs> <laughs> Last time you were in, you were naked. You don't do the naked thing anymore, right, Jay? No, <laughs> but that's what uh, I'm a CBS employee, man. I get to play straight list. Go. I already dropped two n bombs. Yeah, Gary oh, unmarried, of course, on the, on that's CBS. Okay. That's, that's why Jay's in New York. I stand by them. I'm here. I and, stand by them. Oh, by the way, tomorrow our live St. Patrick's Day broadcast. Connolly's 47th in uh, Madison. See things. Kevin Connolly from Entourage. No. Good guest. Be right back. Hey there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We we're just talking about comedies. <laughs> hey, how's your place doing? Which one? F. H. Riley. It, it's kicking really good good and a lot of restaurants closed in huntington because of the economy so those people are starting to push toward fh but not my opies no we're doing all right well my brother he's he knows what he's doing i mean i all i do is push people in that direction and then he keeps them with the food and the service and all that shit we were just talking about uh comedies Step Brothers. There's no spanking scene in Step Brothers. Isn't there a spanking scene in Step Brothers? He, no, he, takes, a, he takes away the tv and yeah. they go this is bullshit it's fucking <laughs> shark week yeah. There were some funny This house scenes. is a fucking prison! And the other guy goes, on planet bullshit! And the other guy goes, in the universe of sucks camel dick! Jay just said before we went on air, I gotta like set this up, that Step Brothers was uh, the funniest comedy you've ever seen ever, in, in recent years. No, ever. Caddyshack? Funnier. Way funnier. I love Caddyshack. I love Caddy. It used to be The In-Laws was the funniest, in -laws is, funniest movie. In-Laws is one of the greatest comedies made. ever. 
And then when you tell people that and they go, the old one or the remake, <laughs> right. and then you get in a fist fight. Right? <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, the, you think the, the Midnight remake Run, was... No, 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 Midnight Run's not up there with you? I hate the other bounty hunter character, and I think it's completely unnecessary. Watch your cigarettes around this guy. Oh, that guy, yeah. Like, yeah. he's just there. Let's talk about somebody that could have been edited out of a movie. Mm. <laughs> Look at Elton Brand coming out with her new shirt. That is a big dude in the paint. You do not want to post up on Tyra. <laughs> I did that show. It was like standing next to Fred Gwynn. <laughs> I swear her makeup. She, she was like she was like green. She looks like a tranny, right? She's a giant. She used to be so effing hot, but now I was on Jimmy Kimmel with her. Yeah, and she says to me during the commercial break, she goes, "Everyone in my dressing room was like, girl, that Jay Moore is fine." I'm like, "All right, well, let's see what happens. Let's let's get some. You know, she's probably hanging out with a bunch see of hot models." Yeah, I go in there, I'm like, and I go in her dressing room like by mistake. Like, just taking off my jacket, like, here I am, my dressing room. <laughs> All gay guys. Uh, <laughs> ah, <laughs> like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't know I did Tracy? I absolutely didn't know, because I know, again, Dean does Tracy also. Dean Edwards is, he's nah, got a I great Tracy. Now I gotta call Tracy. this guy out now. I have to he's put, got a great Tracy. Tracy. Forrest, where the great Tracy. I will, I will put Dean's Can we find Tracy. Dean right now? You I'll, got Dean's number? Uh, no. Let's let's do the challenge right now. I, Jay Moore versus Dean Edwards. I, but only Tracy Morgan things, showdown. But, I know. I Tracy Mo Dean does a tremendous Tracy Morgan. But Dean's black. That, you don't get points, motherfucker, for that shit. Well, how yeah. many white people are you doing? Nothing. How many white people does Dean do? I don't fucking do impressions. How many white people does Dean do? I think Dean does. does he do the, I know. Of, you know. No, fuck that. I know. I know a white guy. Dean does. He does the white guy in every black guy's act. Hey, a pal. How are you? No, uh, no, 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 no. Look out, Maggie. Yeah, here I'm come the Negroes. Mow my lawn. Get back in the car. Here come the Negroes, but Maggie. But that's how you guys sound. But but that's not how we sound. That's how fucking Tony Gwynn sounds. No, that's how you guys. That's how Tony Dungy sounds. That's how Romeo Crennel sounds. You're from Jersey, but there's some white guys. You sound just like that. Yeah. Every guy, that's how black guys sound. D what? That's how Brian Gumbel sounds. That's not true. Uh, tell me why. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, him. that's him trying to be white. That's his impression. That's not an impression, but that's like... And Greg that, Gumbel, he's trying to be white to just all 24-7. No, he's, he's just trying to not Tony, scare people. Tony Gwynn. I right, just try to hit the baseball as best as I can and go to the Hall of Fame <laughs> in five years. Fucking <laughs> Cal Ripken sounds like a dick-holding brother compared I'll to put, Tony Gwynn. I'll, I'll, put Dean, I'll put Dean's Tracy up against your Tracy. Well, let's get does Dean he, on does the he phone. Do an, does he do, like, he actual number? things, or oh, does man. he just regurgitate Tracy stuff? No, he fucking... Oh. He does sm little inside, hilarious, like, shit that's... <laughs> Tracy, like, inner, really, like... He knows Tracy, right. so he can just watch Someone him. out there has got Dean's number. Just tell Dean to call our show I or know something. you legendary. <laughs> you like Richard Pryor with the gold shoes on, choking out the big man on the seventeenth floor. I'm gonna fuck with Patrice now. <laughs> I miss keep my daughter. Wait, keep going. I miss my daughter. Let me close my eyes. I miss my daughter with a doo doo pamper. <laughs> doo doo pamper, big girl. I'm on a big girl with a doo doo pamper. <laughs> I miss my daughter. With a doo doo pamper. <laughs> what is Patrice? You gotta say it over and over if you wanna be Tracy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Jay Moore's my uncle. <laughs> fucking good, man. Pampa is. But you had to close your I, eyes to I make thought, it good. I thought because you you look at it, Jay's giant face. <laughs> I got. <laughs> I got. Like Manning now. <laughs> Let me see. I'm Number to, eighteen. Pampa. Jay Manning. I thought Tracy was in the fucking room for a second. Well, yeah, then there you have it. Where's Dean's impression? And you got to admit, I grew, up, I grew up talking like this. How are you, fella? <laughs> a fucking stupid so black comic. Black get... comics stink. <laughs> He's so <laughs> terrible. <laughs> you ever see a white motherfucker take a shit? I'm taking a shit now. Here I go. Plop. Oh, look out. But a nigga be like, mm, I'm shitting. Fuck it. <laughs> Walking across the stage with the stick up his ass walk. Ah, hi, everybody. How are you? How are you? Hiya, pal. Hey, fella. How are you? How are you? And then black guys will always go, you know, the white man keeps us back and holds us down. Like, that's the fucking guy holding you back? <laughs> yeah. Why do you make me sound a little more spooky? <laughs> no offense. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> Why do you make me sound like a pirate? Like, I can't give you the apartment. <laughs> we never read your application. <laughs> Instead of like, hi, sorry, I can't give you a gated community home. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, fella. I'm holding you back. I'm the most powerful race in the world. I'm retarded. <laughs> I'm so retarded. You know, that, that you're is, being held that, back. That's exactly that is, true. That is very Dev Jam 92, though. No, well, no, I don't know about black comics don't do that anymore. What? I, I better not. know about no. that. Holy shit. Go, go to Caroline's there. Watch your pal now. 
Chappelle's doing that. When he's not looking at himself in the mirror in the back of the room. <laughs> Have you ever seen a guy that likes to look at himself more on stage? I haven't talked about You know about what he is? Since, uh... He's a sore winner. <laughs> That's that's a good that's, that's a, a deep call. Fucking that's a, that's, a, that's my it. wife said. That's it right there. Because you know what he is? He's a sore winner. He, uh, Jesus, Jay, I got to remind it's you. Poignant. We're gonna get Dean Edwards on for the Tracy Morgan showdown, but I got to remind Jay the Seinfeld thing. Oh I'm yeah, I'm curious about this because I'm kind of with you on this. If one. you to set it up though, Seinfeld no, I know. Do... I was going to. I just had to remind him that he Seinfeld... wanted to do. This. Thank you, sweetie. Seinfeld can do like. Um... He can really talk about anything, and people, just because it's Seinfeld and they paid $100 a ticket, will be like, That's so funny! Mm -hmm. It's so true, because it's like everyday stuff! <laughs> uh, now, and now, now, that's my impression of a white this, lady. Now this, now this theory... I, my, my white impression is I... That's right. when I do a white guy, I go, yeah, but stay well, with the Seinfeld right. thing, because... Right. What, Chase, what, you got a pipe and an ascot? Yes, my, it's more like like the... Uh, what, well. what, what Jay's saying, though, because he's Jerry Seinfeld, he gets a lot of wiggle so room, and, saying, and he's saying he's not a funny guy. Right? Uh, well, I, I think... I know he's funny. <laughs> I know he's funny. I'm just saying he gets a lot of wiggle room. Right. Like, what? name something. Well, we need a scenario. Like, no, uh, you know, just name a product. A, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Procter & Gamble. That's a company. That's a that's company. So, like Tide. A, Socks. No, no, uh, uh, Snuggies. Snuggies? What are those? Pampers. You know what a Snuggie is? Where have no. you been? Snuggies been uh, about, being uh, sold ready? during the Christmas season. No, just tell me what they are. White women's uniform. It's the blanket with it's, sleeves. It's a white sleeves. <laughs> <Seinfeld dog. laughs> What's the deal? White women's <laughs> uniform uh, Uggs. What's the you deal with white women? Uggs. I want to wear boots, but I don't want to be troubled with laces. If I can find something that's a bit like a slipper and a sock, put it on my feet, and look like a complete moron, then I maybe I could wear Uggs. I don't know, that wasn't the best example. <laughs> I want to wear boots, but I don't want to be bothered with laces. How about an Ugg? <laughs> <laughs> this is the shoe wear for the laziest people on the planet. I want to wear boots, I want my feet to be warm, but I don't want to tie anything. <laughs> I want my feet warm, I want to hit the streets, <laughs> but I don't want to be slowed down by tying anything when I get up in the... Wait, I'll help you along. Keep going. He would totally... Keep no, going. I absolutely this, see what well, you're this, talking about. This is what the crowd People does. would be howling do, at that. Do a little more, because I got the crowd for you. Okay. Uh, what's the deal with socks? I want to wear shoes, but I don't want my feet inside my shoe. I need a buffer, a DMZ, between my actual foot and the shoe. <laughs> And what's going on with black women? Uh, <laughs> Which you would black never women. fucking say this is, this is completely... Oh, no. Insane. Black it's women... Never it never go, yeah. What's the deal with black women and their wigs? If a white woman wears a wig to work, the entire office says, I think she's sick. <laughs> Let's hit the button there. <laughs> black women wear a different wig every day. Yeah. You know, that's amazing. Yesterday, your hair was four inches shorter... <laughs> now today it's nice and long. <laughs> I, never, I never understood hats. I don't wear hats. I'm not a hat wearing person. It just seems odd to me that I don't want to go out and walk around town, but I don't want anyone to see my hat. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of making a point. If I'm comfortable kinda... enough with the company I keep, if I go to a fancy place, then, and only then, will I take the hat off and let people see my head. <laughs> Is he nailing it? He's nailing it. I don't know. It's not, I'm not, I'm not a much it. better <laughs> But it's more... I'm getting the point, though. It's so bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> I love Patrice. He's my uncle. You want to hear a good Tracy story? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> me and Tracy are at the Boston Comedy Club, and he comes up to me afterwards. He goes, Yo, Jay Moores. I don't know why brothers always put an S at the end of my name. Jay oh, Moores. shit. You that actor, Jay Moores. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Moores, you want to go get nice? So I go, yeah. So we go out down by, like, the fire station down there, and he pulls a, a big joint out, and he can't light. He's like, Yo, bring me. Give me some shelter. Open your coat up for me. 
So I open up my coat and he's bending down. It looks like he's blowing me. And he's like lighting a joint. <laughs> and, and he gives me, gives it to. He smokes like half of. This is a true story. He gives it to me and I smoke it and it feels like glass is going down my throat and I vomit like instantly. And I go, what, what the fuck was that? And he goes, oh, you never smoked PCP before. <laughs> you never smoked sherm. You didn't smell it. Okay. Holy shit. So I'm not a fag. We finished the joint, right? <laughs> And then for like an hour, we're just walking around the village and we're like, we're punching cars. Like, we're just walking up and down like Waverly, just punching out fucking cars. Like, you gotta get yourself a Mercury! So he takes me to that club Life on the Bleecker, I yeah, think it is. And yeah. it's the all black club that's downstairs. And I'm the only white guy in there. I, I mean, you know, you've been there. It's like since the fucking, they signed the fire permit. I'm the only white guy that's been in there. Okay. <laughs> and I am. Hi, hi, hi. I mean, I never smoked that shit before. Like, I'm crazy. I don't he like... gave you unbeknownst to his... You didn't, smell it. You didn't smell it? You didn't smell it? You didn't smell, didn't smell it. You, you never smoked sherm? Like, that's what his, what his hand to his mouth? You didn't smell it? <laughs> <laughs> I miss my daughter, Jay Moore. He don't have a daughter, by the way. I miss my daughter. She's a big girl with a doo-doo pamper. You know I miss my daughter, Patrice O'Neill. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Patrice when his name was Johnny Carson. <laughs> it don't matter. It don't have to make sense. It doesn't with him. Jay Moore's my uncle. <laughs> so he takes me to life and he orders uh, Dom Perignon for like every woman in this place. So he gives out like 60 bottles of Dom Perignon. And I had just come from some bizarre gig and I was wearing a suit. No tie, but like a suit. And uh, the waiter comes over and puts the check in front of me because he thinks I'm like fucking Tracy's accountant or something because I'm the only white guy in there. <laughs> Tracy goes, yo, what the fuck is that? That's racism. I'm the rich nigga in here. <laughs> he takes his fucking shirt off and punches the waiter in the face. The waiter goes, ah, like feet up in the air. Out. Out, like gone. Like, there was just some waiter, like putting a check down, just <laughs> bow. I'm Holy the rich shit. nigga off of here. <laughs> bow. And then the bouncers come out and they just start fucking Donny Brook and Tracy like stomping and I heard the word nigger and I run out of the club because I'm on PCP I might have said it yeah. <laughs> so, you know, ever like do acid and you're like I can't believe I said all of that out loud <laughs> so I'm on the sidewalk like just standing there like I have no idea like how to behave alone on PCP because I've only had like this Batman and Robin relationship with my first PCP experience with Tracy. Mm -hmm. So I'm just standing on the sidewalk waiting. And then finally, they, you know, it's downstairs, that club. They grab him by the ass of his pants and his neck. Like he's, he's naked. He's got no shirt on. And they throw him up the steps. Oof. Like airborne. And this is big Tracy. And he lands on the sidewalk. This is when he was big. Yeah. And they throw his fucking shirt at him and it lands on his head like a cartoon. <laughs> and he stands up and he goes, yeah. That's how you get out of paying for the check, Jay Moore. <laughs> <laughs> and he walks to the fucking Fourth Street subway and goes in it. Just walks down the street like the Incredible Hulk. Wow. Hey, with his shirt over his shoulder. <laughs> That's how you get out of paying for the check, Jay Moore. They gave him the old it and It don't matter. Out. It wow. doesn't matter. Fuck it, man. Holy shit. I miss the blue genie Kool-Aid. You drink it with a crazy straw. <laughs> Don't scratch my yellow Lamborghini. That's canary yellow in the honeycomb hot out. <laughs> right out. <laughs> I, might, I might have to. I'll, I'll take Dean Edwards. Yeah, I'll, I'll I give him a big old kiss. You're, you're all in, I, right? I, I love I Dean Edwards. Dean Edwards is my aunt. The more he's doing Tracy, the more the coffee's kicking in. I get the stuck in Tracy. He's, yeah, he's Tracy. Sometimes my wife will say, do you need to go calm down? <laughs> exactly My wife will say that to me. Does, Honey, do you, need to, do you need to go calm down? Can you stop? I'd be like, I don't want to stop. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> Tracy's, stop. Tracy's said no, I shit. Said to her. I'm like, I have no idea what the fuck it Tracy's It don't matter. About. It's like, what you prior with the gold shoes on? They shot two shows that night. Huey Newton was in seat 5F. <laughs> <laughs> God, pointed him out. There's white people in here. I got to be careful. <laughs> shit. I'm a doo-doo pamper. <laughs> doo -doo pamper. <laughs> we can ride out to the honeycomb hot out. Was y'all on uh, SNL together? No. You were gone before he got there? I was there very quickly. <laughs> Fuck. I, you I were there, Jay, he was not there when you were there? Playing a, Jay, I remember Jay playing a crew member on the, uh, 
the uh, <laughs> ship on the submarine. Me and a towel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And all we did is grab each other's packages, the whole sketch. It was just, it's hysterical to watch. Big ten- <laughs> those striped shirts and a big tentacles are coming by, and you're playing grab dick with David Tell. <laughs> yeah, because we were so humiliated. Like, no, you guys are in the sketch. Yeah, you're in it. You don't say a word. You see your name at the top of the sketch, like who's in the sketch, and then you're flipping through like, I don't have any lines in here. And then, then you rehearse, now. and you just stand by a window, and a tentacle comes in and wraps yeah. around yeah. you. Did you leave that? You left? Or did you uh, let you go? Uh, uh, it's up for debate. You know they do. You know on June twentieth, we'll let you know if you're picked up for a se- for a thir- for another season, and then on June twentieth they go, all right, we're gonna need another week to let you know, and you go okay, and then they go, we're gonna need another week to let you go, and then the third time I said, I don't forget it, I don't want to go back. That so, fucking so that, it's who knows that bit that bit with the fucking sportscaster that just played the backwards clips. <laughs> that was so fucking pull the tent on that circus. <laughs> I was watching that one day and just laughed my ass off like an idiot. Going, that is, I don't know why, but it's hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> I played a, I did a sportscaster and he just played uh, sports highlights, but I, I it was like the highlight reel. I, al- I altered the footage so it was like a tennis match, but I did it fast forward. I was like, whoa, look at these two guys going crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> and the guy, and the basketball game was, up, the hockey game was upside down. Yeah. I go, whoa, put a ten on that circus. <laughs> They're on the ceiling. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I forgot about that. And then uh, uh, Scotty Pippen takes a shot, and then I just freeze it. I go, yeah. and the ball gets stuck in the air. <laughs> whoa. Oh, what was an amazing 90, highlight. 93. Oh, uh, shit, that was 93 funny. he was on SNL. <laughs> yeah. Fucking 16 years ago. What the fuck? He was on SNL. God damn, that's a while ago. Hey, look, the look what they've done without me. Nothing. Oh, wait. <laughs> when did you start in 90? Start what? The business. 87. I was 16 years old. That was the thing back then. Him, Chappelle, everybody started before they was fucking gr- Allowed adults. to, yeah. I bought Dave Chappelle his first beer. Here's the problem. Here's my fundamental flow with Chappelle's act. Do you do a, a Chappelle? I do do a Chappelle. Here's my problem with Chappelle's act. <laughs> uh, look, for the record, I don't want anybody spinning this anyway. Oh, Dave Chappelle anyway. is fucking hilarious. The end. Cut okay? That out. Cut that out of the replay. Well, oh, it doesn't matter. It's <laughs> fucking douchebags that listen to you. Yeah. <laughs> fucking yeah. what an absolute bunch of cocksuckers that listen to you, too. <laughs> wow, no wonder you hate them. I'm not going to argue. No, just, uh, and by the way, I get Steve Carlesi. I need I need a couple home phone numbers from a few folks. I got to pay a couple of visits while I'm in town. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Nice photo yeah. you put up. You fucking cuck so I can wrap him in the head. Fucking mutt you. Uh, what were we talking about? Uh, Chappelle. Oh, oh. Yeah, Chappelle. Chappelle is a guy that does the white voice, the white guy, the goofy white guy go to punchline. But the problem with Chappelle is. Is he does his regular punchlines in the same white voice? You know why they don't take black people hostage? I'll tell you. We're bad bargaining chips. <laughs> <laughs> and then he does a white guy voice. He goes, so my friend says, Dave. And then his white guy voice is so completely out of the realm of what could actually be happening <laughs> that I know it's it's not true whatsoever. Like my friend says. Mm. Dave, <laughs> we're gonna get pulled over. Dave, hey, hey. Like you fucking drive around with a guy like that, really? <laughs> That's your friend. Your friend is actually co- close to Neil Brennan. No, it's not. <laughs> hey, Bonnie McFarland. <laughs> oh oh shit. Yeah, Neil Brennan. <laughs> no, probably Bonnie McFarland. Neil Brennan. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Shut up, stupid. Way. My daughter is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I went to sushi. <laughs> Rich, what the fuck happened to Rich Voss's career? He's, he's getting Your fucking, fucking show. He's getting beat no, up now he, in like, uh, yeah, comedy like, club. He had a couple karate kicks uh, the other night. <laughs> he fought some... Some guy rushed the stage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. threw a glass at him and rushed the stage. That, that was, was it. No, that, it helped him. Like Ralphie May. Like, there, there's a few people like that. Got mm-hmm. Mordell has a something. Yeah, there's on. a bunch of people that got mm-hmm. up on their feet because of it. Mm-hmm. And then Rich Voss parlayed it for a little while. I don't think. Oh, I don't think. I don't think Ralphie's big thing. I think Ralphie's big thing was uh, the the fat show, the show he lost weight. Oh, I did uh, Celebrity Fit Club. I think that one did him. Did him more. Than, 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 How uh, much did Ralphie lose on that show? Let's be honest here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Again! Some uh, pocket change. Uh, <laughs> I who love, did the I biggest from kid. your show? From that? From that show? The, who do you think had the most successful career to date? 
I would say strictly revenue, I would say Ralphie, because he's always on the road and he's always pulling it in. I would say revenue-wise, it would be Ralphie. Not fame-wise? I don't think anyone really. Mm -hmm. Who do you think? I don't know. No, no. Hey everybody, this is Dave Chappelle, and all my punchlines, for some reason, I do in a white voice. <laughs> I went up to Harlem, it was 3 o'clock in the morning, and I saw a baby selling weed. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey baby, get out of here, selling weed. Like you make... <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing as you realize? I'm laughing as he just, I just realized he was done. Like, I thought, I, I, that, was, that was it. That's all you got. That's all you got on that one. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> we're bad bargaining chips, Robin Harris. Anyway. <laughs> Jay is a fucking asshole. I'm an asshole. Wow. You're a fucking asshole. Oh, oh, an asshole. Oh, that's what <laughs> you, call, you called me a nigger. Oh my god. <laughs> that's why you got to laugh. That's what love. Yeah, yeah, how, no, I know. How am I an asshole? I, no, how am I? How am I an asshole? Jay. It fucks with people. I'm how did I, who, uh, Robin it, Harris is dead. How did I fuck with him? <laughs> you fucking with Dave Chappelle. No, I'm just mentioning the other comments. <laughs> <laughs> I love Robin Harris. Exactly. They don't take uh, no black people hostage. We're bad bargaining chips. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some goddamn Qaddafi. Uh, you see black people on the plane. They walk right off. So there ain't gonna be no goddamn hostage. <laughs> I'm a hostage. I'm fucking everything in Beirut. <laughs> Best comic right now. George, well, George Carlin was no, the not Carlin. I like just He's normal motherfuckers. I, I try to find out a normal Zach motherfucker. Zach Galifianakis, funniest Who? guy. Who? Zach Galifianakis. I don't know. He's like a he's like a genius. He's like Stephen Wright. He plays piano. Just says like I'm gonna YouTube that shit. I think I've seen that guy. Bring up uh, Zach yeah. Galifianakis. You bring me joy. He makes videos. Oh, oh, Kanye West. Zach right. Galifianakis, Kanye West. He's like a goofy white guy with a crazy beard, and he he'll just lip sync entire fucking hip hop videos. I know Zach. I didn't. I know, you know Zach, Zach. But I was just. You got a hell of a poker face, bro. You just looked at me like. I, I <laughs> thought it was joking. I didn't. I didn't. I expect Zach Galifianakis to come out. I think of, he's uh, hilarious. He makes me. I'm not. I'm, I'm I like not that kid. With that. I like that kid, surprised. Dimitri Martin, a lot. On the Comedy Central show. Really. I just like this stuff. I like stuff that I'm very surprised. I like stuff that I didn't see coming. I'm very surprised. I'm only surprised because you're tr you're more traditionally funny. I just like I see it all coming. You don't now. like Dimitri, <laughs> Patrice? I just don't. He says I, I don't laugh. I I laugh at fucking funny. I, you know who my and, and again, is mm. Attell is my I, favorite. <clears throat> Attell is funny. Attell is my absolute like if he's yeah. at Caroline's, I have to go see him, and I'm. I'm powerless while I'm in the room. Like, I, I cry laughing. And that's rare. I tell is a funny, like, when I say that, it's like Dimitri is like, like, I go, oh, okay, I get, I just, it's just funny to yeah. me. It's a good, oh, it's a good laugh. <clears throat> like, not, like, getting it. Nick Apollo is funny, too. <laughs> I like Nick. <laughs> You got sound on that. It's more of a visual, unfortunately. Well, yeah. It's just a <laughs> guy reenacting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's only three shots in a rap video. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He's on his. Who are more comics to you, I think. It's like your fucking girlfriend, Dean. I think. Uh, I think Corey's the one of the funny. I like Corey around. a lot. I like Corey a lot. I like Regan. Yeah, Brian. I love hilarious. Brian Regan. Mike yeah. Regan. Fucking um, hilarious. Hmm. Who I sit and I just watch, and I always go just like if I could sit and I just enjoy without being an asshole, mm -hmm. <laughs> like without being a comic, is is it's hard. Regan and Attell are guys like I can watch, Attell's and I'm not Attell. a. Com I know what you mean. Like I'm not a comic. I sit there and I just go. <laughs> yeah, I just laugh like enjoy. Man. You don't just have to. I don't, I don't dig. I don't dig through the shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, yeah oh, I like, see what he does here. Yeah, okay, I get it. Like it's only it's a few. Have you guys noticed that Tal's got like this new character? I don't know if it's new, but like he's kind of gone into it. It's the it he the audience doesn't know how much he hates them. <laughs> so he well, that's from that fucking that that fucking uh, from insomnia insomnia because they all want him to drink. His and, like, fucking audience that's... was oh. like, guy awful. His, his so audience just, got awful. Like, but if you're in the audience and he knows you're in the audience, he'll look over and go, yes. Play me a tune, or like just say something so bizarre to you, and he lets you know like this is the worst fuck I possible. hate these motherfuckers. I cannot believe my life is this stage right now. <laughs> they actually made the stage smaller at Caroline's to fit more of these morons here. <laughs> 
Yes, this is illicit behavior. <laughs> like he'll just look at you dead in the that eye fucker, out of nowhere. He's funny man. He really is. Yes. He really is a funny dude. <laughs> Where is Dean Edwards? We couldn't get him. Well, we don't have his uh, contact info, unfortunately. That's that good. Been, that would have been uh, a good way to wrap up today. Yeah, nice producers. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know how weird it is to get a uh, an itinerary for like press, and it's like. Rachel Ray, The View, CBS Morning Show, and he goes, your contact is Steve Cardelleski. <laughs> like, Steve, my contact. Yes. Yeah. And then I called him, and he doesn't answer, and his outgoing message is like some cartoon music. Uh, you right. Meet, you meet David? Intern David? Yeah, he's a sweet boy. You like him? I mean, I just said hi to him. He's, what's not to like? David? You want David for, like, one moment? You'd all be Why? dead if it wasn't for my son, David. Hey, David, you know Jay Moore? Yeah, we met. He was very nice, David. No, I mean, do you know of him? David got a haircut. Yeah, I see that. David. Explain, Dave. What, what have I missed about David? Yes, I know of Jay Moore, yes. <laughs> He's, uh... What's the matter, David? What's wrong, David? Nothing's wrong at all. You seem, seem a little I, snippy I know today. You seem a little snippy. David, I just told them that I met you and you were a very nice boy. Yes, thank you so much. That's very nice of you. It's like a shirach when we met. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't he perfect for Hollywood? For casting, oh, behind perfect. the scenes. Who, David, are they yeah, David. Are you asking David about me? Oh no, well, we aren't you here. impressed that I said Shirak, puppy? Yes, I'm very impressed. What, what, do you, what, what do you know about Jay Moore? Uh, I know a lot. I know him. you killed my Lord and Savior. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I know I'm a died in the wool cat. Like you got some explaining to do, punches. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding with give you, David. Give us the rundown on Jay Moore. What do you know about him? He's a good man, David. Oh, he's circumcised. A good guy. Comedian. I like that. Comedian, actor, uh, former host That's of generic. Last, Let's... former host of Last Comic Standing. What's the name creator. of the show? What's the name of the show right now? Standing. What's that? The show he's on right now. What's Gary the Unmarried. Well, there you go. Did you go to yeshiva? Where did you go to school? Sure. Really? No, not a yeshiva, not an orthodox one. No. Who does other comedians over the years say Jay looks just like? No, other what other comedians? Other comedians. Mm -hmm. When we talk, we say Jay looks just like this person. Looks like. Yes. Uh, Just see how deep you know. That I did. That I What other comic do I look like? No, no, no. Like what Larry the, Burkhead? No. What the comedians say you look like when we when we say you look like somebody? Wow, I don't <laughs> even know where you're going with this. I know Larry. I'm Burkhead. sure, I don't know that I'm sure this will be flattering. No. <laughs> Go a lady comes up to me at Starbucks. She goes, "Are you Matthew McConaughey?" <laughs> and I looked at her and went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fucking Matthew McConaughey. Don't you see how fucking hot I am with Costa Rican pussy dripping off of my body? You dumb, stupid chai latte moron. That's me. I'm naked with bongo, smoking grass in Malibu on a 55th Street stunt. Yes, I'm, I'm Matthew McConaughey. You nailed it, sweetheart. Oh, fuck. You might as well come up to me and go, are you Alan Thick? <laughs> What? What does he look? What does he look I like? Can't to you? That. I don't know. What, he, what does he look Patrice, like? You're talking about a specific actor or comedian that he no. looks like. Well, well, who do you think he looks like? That. Let's just. Yeah, go where with are that. you going, Patrice? Where are you going with that? Uh, yeah, I'm, no I'm one going knows. Nowhere. What we do just, I look like? I don't know. You look like Marion like. Jones's husband. We just. <laughs> <laughs> we was. One day, like we, that that was one, one day we sat around. That was hilarious. One day we sat around. That was hilarious. In the sports world, that is very funny. One day we sat around and said, "Jay Moore looks like Eric Stoltz from Mask." All right. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've seen that. <laughs> we, that's old. All right. Yeah. Well, like, my, like, I, like I have deformities no! on my face? No! It's just, you just got, like, a cure to Eric Stoltz. I know Keith was there when you said <laughs> oh, that. that. Yeah, I know Keith was there. Oh, you got cured Eric Stoltz? <laughs> Keith was there waiting for his fucking 115 spot for his free fucking shawarma. <laughs> <laughs> you guys go there and, and eat like you're. At, there too. You guys <laughs> eat like you're at Le Cirque when you're at the fucking comedy cellar. You'll crowd around on a table. You write shit with the fucking chalk on the tables. That's like done. Like a bunch of big shots. <laughs> that, that was years ago. You never heard that, man. I just said I haven't. He heard did. It. Yeah. He said okay. it. David, who does he look like? Who does this Jay Moore look like to you? Let me do this to my face. Uh, look yeah. like, <laughs> oh, no, Stop no. pulling pins out of a map and crying. Like the mask. Who does no. he look like no. to you? I don't know. It doesn't really look like anyone. Then. All right, we're not gonna get anything. Out of he this. doesn't look like anyone today. David, how old are you? Twenty-six. What is your thing that they brought you in here like? Uh, like it was gonna be a big laugh when David comes in. Yeah. What is it? What's your guy? What's your thing? The one guy was no homo. I remember that guy. <laughs> right. No guy. I, and I, I got rid of him quick, didn't I? <laughs> yes, you did. I put my. You know what happened that day, Patrice? <laughs> you were there. <laughs> Well, they came to sit, what was his name, Bobby? I don't Craig. even remember anymore. What? Craig. Oh, Craig. 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 Oh, Craig. 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 Thing is, it gave, you see this, is it gave, you see that? And then he was sitting in that chair and I came with my pants off and I put my entire package and asshole on it. I held him down and I put on his face in that. <laughs> and then I stood up and went, no, no homo. homo. No homo. 
Like I, full, I basically <laughs> raped this person. <laughs> you remember that? Why, I remember why, that. What, That's the last time you were here. I, I, I think he's you do look angry. He really is a big fan of Jay's. You That's do look I mean. angry though, David. No, it's, I'm not angry at all. I'm a big. You're right, Patrice. I'm yeah, a big he's fan a big of fan. Jay. He's just a little. He right. doesn't want to offend Jay. What makes you a big fan of Jay Moore? I watch his movies. I, I watch. Hey, what's your favorite Jay Moore movie? Mine, Suicide Kings. I yeah. Suicide Kings. Yeah. No, no, no. That was great. You still get sex from that? Yeah. My ex-wife will get that one. Oh, that, that shit. Shit. she worked very hard in that movie. Are you shitting me? She got the fucking checks to that movie. I bought her out though. So God damn, I didn't do what you did. Fuck, dude. I didn't do what you did. I, did. I went for the extension. I wrote plan. a check with two commas. Thanks, Dave. And I washed my hands of it. Speaking of Pontius Pilate, I washed my hands of this woman. Fuck. You oh, won. you don't give up nothing. I'm done though. Uh, what? You know, nothing to her. Very soon. I gave her everything. I gave her everything I had, and I walked out of the Jesus. lawyer's office. Like there's no, I don't give her you, you any don't give her nothing else. You, but you well, gave child her. support. She lives off child support probably. Ugh. Plus the everything you had at the time. One point six. Oh. Like this. That's you for you. Go. And what did you do for yourself? I started doing Tuesdays at the Irvine Improv. <laughs> oh. the door. I got a hundred percent of the door, and they said we'll give you eighty percent of the door. I said fuck you, you're closed, stupid. Give me a hundred percent of the door. <laughs> you're closed on Tuesdays, and they said. That's a fair point. <laughs> they were closed. So I picked the night they were closed so I can get the door. I went out and I fucking made it happen. I didn't sit on my ass like the fucking you know what? Like the who? I don't know. People don't want to work. What the <laughs> <laughs> Easy CBS. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah, this isn't any W. Yeah, you, you don't. You don't even get to have a lot to lose. You don't even days. get to have. To, you don't get to have in your window anymore. Right. I said, you know, people that don't want to wait. Shut you your know. fucking face. Just, just drop you it. You know what? <laughs> I'm helping you. Look, Corey Holcomb. Maybe you think he can fight. <laughs> I, I don't know if he can fight, but I'm just saying it looks like he, Corey will knock a dude in the head. Talent looked like he probably could fight. Talent? I haven't seen talent in a while, but I bet he could fight. I was on a basketball team with talent down at um. Chelsea Piers? These are black men. Look at all these like, Frosty people. Huh? Me and Frosty. Uh, <laughs> me and Frosty. <laughs> me and Frosty were the only white guys on the team. No one will fucking pass the basketball if you play intramural basketball in a mixed race league. <laughs> Everyone's fucking Dwayne Wade at Chelsea Piers. Like a guy will inbound the ball and then get it right back and then go coast to coast five on one like oh ball 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 like screaming for the foul <laughs> and you're out of the three point line like yeah da, da, <laughs> and where you're supposed to be like, <laughs> just like ridiculous. a white boy who can't shoot a three point is useless that was me <laughs> <laughs> that was shit and Frosty can't either but Frosty's like Bill Walton under the boards he's yeah, crazy Frosty's a beast man he's a beast under the boards <laughs> so I our first game I go down and I'm on the three point line in the corner and so like uh, maybe it was Dean no Who's the little tiny guy? He's on TV now. He's in movies. Little Kev. Kevin. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart passed me the ball on the wing, and I put up like this stupid like Kenny Smith shot <laughs> with that this ball, like tw the knuckleball Kenny Smith shot, <laughs> right, just, and I swished no it. And then you got to jog up the court like you like you're cool, but I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> like you don't understand, I'm a one percent three point shooter, and I get halfway up the court, and I hear Frosty go, Juju, Juju, and I look over, and he goes, that was hilarious. <laughs> I'm like, shut up, stupid. They don't know. They just think I'm a white guy that's a point guard. <laughs> Can you tell me this story that you you gave somebody a vitamin B shot? Jason Steinberg. I didn't give it to him. Do you know that? People, that's what we call steroids. The then. word is they blame you for Jason losing it. Jason's, first of all, Jason, that, that, you, you, gotta, right. you gotta explain Jason Stein, no one knows. He's a strange... I know, I know, I know, he, I know. He, he managed a bunch of you guys. He manages Rich Voss. Are you still managing uh, Rich? I no, thought Rich I said so. goodbye, too. Yeah. He had a bunch of you guys. He's an, he's nice. He's yeah, kind of like the land he, of broken I toys. I love the guy, too. We travel together and all that shit, but it's like... <laughs> the, I, I wanted to always... The, the story is that... Here's what happened. He made Jay... Jay's a little a little funny sometimes. Right. And that that this fucker did something to him to make... That's the... the no. The, 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 no way. This is what happened. Jason Steinberg and I met for breakfast. <laughs> I was going down to my doctor. It was cold and flu season. I sound like David. It was cold and flu season. Uh. And I was going down to my doctor, Dr. Frank, who was a mafia doctor, total mob doctor, who would give you, like, all pills you needed. And he'd bring in, all he wanted was, like, every once in a while, you bring in your girlfriend. He'd go, JJ, she got a big bush? That's what he asked. This doctor would ask me, with her standing there, she got a big bush? I go, she got a big bush. He goes, all right, take these. And he goes, but don't tell the nurse, she'll charge you. 
So you get like Xanax and Viking, you get whatever you want. Okay. Back when I was, you know, using. All right. Back when I was using. <laughs> I wore my tight pants so the doctor would give me more product. I've been having drug or drink in my body in Thank 23 years. Thank God I have gambling years. to fall back. I look at a black chick checking me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can play Rich Voss records while he's on stage, and he can just lip sync his own shit. <laughs> the Ashley Simpson of comedy. <laughs> Rich Voss. What a fucking zilch. Everyone calls in just to hear a sleepy, fucking stupid voice. All right, we can get him before they... Now, uh, uh, is but, that the end of the story? Right. No, no, sorry. It's not, right? Uh, you so... stun gunned him, didn't you? Oh, that's a different story. Yes, that's a different story. That's a different story. What an asshole. Jay is a fucking asshole. <laughs> All right, so it is Jay. Let me ask you a question. He fucking and stunned him and goes, this is a different story. <laughs> I'm thinking the stun gun story. This fucking tell me some Xanax story. You asked me about a B-12 shot. Yeah, let's go back to the B-12 shot. The B-12 and the fucking stun gun, but they're two different things. I thought word on the street was word on the street. You people got it all messed up. Uh -huh. yeah, okay, all the comics are ruining right. these stories. I go down to my doctor to get a vitamin B-12 shot, which was uh, what I did all the time. I still do it all the time. Like, I'll get them once in a while. Okay. I get a vitamin B-12 shot. Jason Steinberg's with me. We're going to breakfast next. The doctor goes, you want a vitamin B12 shot? He goes, yeah, I'll have vitamin B12 shot. So he takes out another, he shoots me with a vitamin B12 shot. This is vitamin B, like a fucking multivitamin, right? Yeah. <laughs> he shoots Jason Steinberg 30 seconds after me. <laughs> no, he shoots Jason first. <laughs> Then he gets a new needle, then he shoots me in my ass with a vitamin B, different needles, with a vitamin B12 shot. Jason Steinberg falls at the mouth and has a seizure and starts flopping around on the ground like a full-on fucking grand mall seat. Meanwhile, I have just been injected 18 seconds after this guy's so I'm waiting for me. Yeah, they saw it. And they go, and Dr. Frank goes, what's going on? Like, he was a doctor's assistant that acted like a doctor. Goes, What's going on with your friend? What the fuck happened? <laughs> he picks, he's like four. This guy was like five feet tall, like super fat. He like you know Holy like man, he look. And so he picks Jason up like under his armpits and puts him in the chair and goes, "Wake up!" Like he's panicking and he's slapping him. He goes, "Wake up! This is not normal. Your friend is very strange." Uh, oh, he, he goes, go to the corner, get him orange juice. And meanwhile, I just got shot. With this. I go, I'm not fucking going anywhere. Because I don't want to be halfway down the street. I don't want to be half fucking stories. I don't want to be halfway down the street. I don't want to be halfway down Spring Street and have my seizure. The fucking story over the years was that you stuck him personally with a fucking vitamin B12. Wow, is that No, funny. the doctor gave it and he had a seizure. Because what he didn't tell anyone is he had, he had been awake for four straight days. Oh, shit. Like, come to my party. I'm promoting a party at Peggy Sue's. Come to my party. It's going to be great. And then by the time the vitamin B12 hit his body, like 6,000 cc of vitamin B12, his heart flipped out and he had a seizure because he'd been awake for four days and his body's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, we need his hand. We need to go the oh other way with this. Oh, my God. But he's flopping around, like, foaming, like, put something in his mouth, like, you know, Francis Farmer, oh, like, electric shock therapy. Jesus, that's the funny. The stun gun Jay story. Is someone fucking funny, man. Somebody brought a stun gun. Yeah, by the way, <laughs> you're one of the funniest people I've ever heard on this show. Every time you're on the show, you make me laugh. Thank you, beautiful. Just, I don't want you to ever, I don't want you to leave here not thinking that I think you're as fucking hilarious <laughs> as you are. <laughs> so... The uh, the stun gun stories. We were at this club, Peggy Sue's, and Keith. This kid, uh, Keith, was a fire. It's not Keith the cop, but another Keith. Yeah. Was a cop. second Jason Steinberg. Yeah. He comes in and he's got his stun gun. This one, all NYPD had stun. It was brand new. We're like, holy shit, this is all. It wasn't the one that shot. It was the one. Yeah, that it was the one you had. You got to put it against the body. Yeah, yeah. And I go, can I try it? And he goes, yeah. So I go and I just walk up behind Jason Steinberg and I put it on his ass and I shot him. And, he, and he's on the dance floor. <laughs> he's on the dance floor and he goes, <laughs> And I remember the exact oh song. My God. It was Tribe Called Quest. And he's like, Tanya, Tracy, bam. And he's calling out all the girls' names. You know what song I'm talking about? <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Low end theory. I don't know that one, but, yeah. The song where uh, Fife is calling all the names of the girls. Yeah. I'm talking about Tanya, Tracy, <laughs> Anna, Anna, and it was right there. And Jason Steinman going like this. <laughs> and people were like, oh! <laughs> but I had to do it and get out of there because I didn't want them to know that I actually gave him a stun gun. <laughs> Oh my god. So those are the oh, actual god. stories. Jesus, Jay. Oh, fuck me, man. Everyone, by oh. the way, is saying you're killing today. Oh, that's Gary, I'm oh. married on CBS. Rich Foss oh. is on the line. Rich. Oh. oh. Oh, you're talking about Jason and Evan? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Jason and Evan. Did you talk about Evan's bro uh, his brother, Evan? They went to a. Uh, they were going to a house, to a, uh, to a dinner, 
Corey was having a dinner. So as they're leaving, uh, oh Jason, says, Jason says, can I, uh, you know, take some home with me, some food? How come I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing, like, what do you call it? Uh, echo. Dead air. You echo? Dead air. <laughs> are you hearing an echo? That's what he took home? <laughs> Bloody fucking time, sweetheart! Boss, what kind of story is this? <laughs> I want to tell a story by keeping the echo on my phone. What? Oh, you... Boss, I I set you up to tell a story and be cool, and you call it all. No one mentioned okay. Evan in the last so, hour. No one even knows who's... Shut no, up, really? stupid. He's on hold for nothing. He's on hold for 20 minutes. Hey, boss, say, I want sushi in church on Tuesday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, ah. you're going to take that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> that's why you're doing one-nighters, Rich. <laughs> all right. Let's get out of here. Where do you guys go? Oh, the show's oh, over? Wow. Yeah, it ends early. The show's over. Because we uh, don't do the other thing anymore. Oh, uh, shit. Patrice, you're going to be at Bananas in Poughkeepsie March 27th? 28th. And 28th. Yeah. Wow. Fuck it. Gary, is. I'm married. Oh. How about we get the ratings to jump a little bit? Just a little more for oh, you? Oh, yeah. I'd like a second when, season. You doing auditions? Can I audition for something? Here? I would make... I, if you were in town, I would just say, I know the guy for this. I've done that a couple times. That'd be nice. Just give me a call. I would totally do that. I'll do it. Yeah, you put me on a dumb thing, you know? and I'm a nobody. I put you. I thought, you were, I found those pictures great. recently. The NB, WNBA. St here's I found to the you, Mr. WNBA stalker. Yeah. I take care of my friends. He does. WNBA. Thanks. No, when he was doing his uh, more sports thing, I happened to be out, we did out a, in L.A. I called him, and the next girl, thing you know, that? that was the original. Ooh, well, I don't know if you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Do that? No, no, no. I was gonna say because I think I, I think a, oh. I think a Jim Rome. <laughs> no, it was a, it wasn't a, it wasn't anything like a Jim oh, no, Rome. It was the it's original the time slot. It was the what original a like kind of show what like a, what, a, what a douche. Really, all the comments oh. he gave you. No, no, that's no, no. That was the, the original blur. <laughs> it was the original. Look at not Louis C.K. <laughs> it was the it was the original like show like that is what I'm saying, and I thought of Jim Rome. I don't know. And then I'm like, it uh, was the Tonight Show, but only sports. The monologue was yeah, sports. That's what I'm I'd saying. bring out Jeff Garcia, and then I would bring like Dennis. We had great like Dennis Leary oh, came like. Why oh. didn't that? What the fuck happened there? I called the president of the network a fucking cocksucker on the yeah. Craig Kilborn show. Ah, I said no. I love ESPN, but Mark Shapiro is a fucking cocksucker. Oh, Sixteen smart. time slots in twenty five weeks. They just kept moving us around. He did, it wasn't his show. Like we had the show. Mm. Say something. I'm just saying oh. that they so they booted you off for that shit. Well, we got like a point three rating and a point four rating, which, which is, is three four hundred thousand people. That's not bad. Well, we know that now because now everything that's been in that time slot since that's what they get. What is, what does Rome get? About what? Oh, I don't know. He's a monster. What? What? <laughs> I, I just don't. Oh, I, Jim Rome. What is that about? Yeah, I just don't. Like, I don't. Patrice O'Neill. The more that is clever. That is great. The more sports. It, it, was, he, it was a good show. Just, it, was, it, it was a great Patrice O'Neill. Anthony, Opie, talk to me. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> that is fresh. That does not suck. <laughs> that is nice. Why don't you get your ass out of bed and get on the Opie and Anthony radio show? I don't. It's that is just, great. Uh, good Jim Rome. I, I, and I love, I love that Cal, whole block. Again, Caliendo. That whole block. Yeah. That whole yeah. block of. Caliendo, so saying, Dean said, Edwards, Jay Moore. Who do you got? Caliendo, Dean Edwards, Jay Moore. I need, here's, here's the thing. Oh, man. You need me Make to do fucking decision. George Bush? No, no, How about I whip out a Nixon? <laughs> Ready? He's done enough. Those goddamn Jews, Henry. Henry. I'm, I'm not lying about <laughs> Silent this. majority. I'm going to tell you something. The mixture of funny and, and, and well done impressions, Jay. Yeah. Because it's as not... As opposed to what? Not as funny, opposed, not well done? No, 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 no. As opposed as, to... Oh, I like that. Oh, that was good, buddy. The slow clap. They're slow to, clapping you out there. Caliendo, who does great impressions, but that's what Caliendo does, is great impressions. I, I Like, he, I, I wouldn't <laughs> be sitting here... very funny. Just <laughs> oh. fucking... Exactly. Someone should have told Frank Caliendo that you cannot do John McCain and you cannot do Barack Obama. Just because, like, just because it's timely doesn't mean you put on a wig and just get at it. How when about he, ba Charles Barkley? Is Charles Barkley any respect for Of course I can that? do Charles Barkley. Any respect for Charles Barkley? I can do it myself. Dwayne Wade is great. He's going to put 50 points on the Knicks. Of course he is. The only reason I did a drunk driving is so I can get a blowjob around the corner. <laughs> it's the same voice as Muhammad Ali, but Muhammad Ali, you go up a little bit and you rhyme more. 
I don't like the fact that he has a scientific theory to because this is the, like the tenth time that he's theorized he's studying his, that fucking, shit. his fucking impression. Yeah. I didn't realize. Charles Barkley, that, I didn't that's realize why the fucking Golden State Jay Warriors was such a, a, a fucking serious impression. Yes. That's why the Warriors are such a scrub team. But I mean, what else do you call a scrub team? They have eleven wins. That's a scrub team. And I don't think he likes the fact that he's not known as a great impressionist. I don't give a shit. Just pay me. <laughs> I would. I, I would literally. I would clean these windows if they if they paid the same. I don't give a shit what I would do. Why? Because I have reached the point. You reach a point where there's so much political network you like i gotta explain to you guys bullshit that you get to the point where it's in goodfellas oh you had a fire fuck you pay fuck me fuck you pay me i don't care i'll be at the irvine improv i'll be at some casino in fucking sasquahama hama in washington and upstate and that's it fuck i got a kid i got a me. wife i got a nice nice house with a yard <laughs> mortgage remember Kaitel and uh copland he goes look around ray everyone's pools are above ground <laughs> But uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, ABD Radio. <laughs> <for God. laughs> but that was the best line of the movie. Uh, we're all, we're remember, all stealing. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we yeah. are all stealing. But everyone's but, pool is above ground. Right. <laughs> like no one's laying fucking tile and digging holes here. <laughs> Look around, Ray. Everyone's pools are above ground. So you it's came okay. in here with the plan of a little boy, <laughs> and you wrote it down in the back of a matchbook. Jesus. You like Chris Penn? Fucking good. Remember yeah. Reservoir Dogs? Yeah. I don't care how mad you... This for you guys is an oldie. Uh, I don't care how mad you are at me, that's not half as mad as daddy's going to be at us. Let's move some fucking cars. It looks like Sam's hot car a lot out there. All right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do, uh, do, he just came in and saw the fucking cop dead and the other dude dead. Well, this fucking cop right here? When he shoots him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That whole thing. When he... Joe, I don't know what you think you know, but you're wrong. He's a good kid. He got shot in the gut. It's my fault. He got shot in the gut. Larry, stop pointing that gun at my daddy. What the hell for? That muffler <laughs> shit's working for the LAPD. Wait, that's an awful one. And you don't get away. You're too good to get away with that uh, one. Lawrence, <laughs> no, it was a great one. It was Lawrence Tierney. That was awful, Lawrence Tierney. The old Tierney. man? What the I'm being a dick right now because he's so good at it. <laughs> you want to hear what a story? Here's a story. Four guys in a bullpen in San Quentin. What do we do here? How do we do? Wait, I fucked up the words, but the impression's good. He's a little raspier. No. For, don't fucking split away. Adams now, stupid. I know I'm being <laughs> a He dick. sounded like he was dying in that I'm movie. Oh, you like a store. All right, ask me why you're Mr. Pink. What? Uh, which one? Ask me why you're Mr. Pink. Why, why, why do I, I got to be Mr. Yeah. Pink? Because you're a fucking faggot, okay? <laughs> Hey Joe, whatever, huh? Look, Joe, for, come on, come on, man. Well, you like stories, huh? I could be doing because you're a fucking I... faggot, all right? Ooh. And, mm. and exa I'm doing better in fucking Lawrence Tierney than you. I'm not. In, I'm, I don't like that. My point. way you... or the highway? Oh, you like jokes? You like giggling like a, a bunch shit. of girls? Like a bunch of girls. Here's a story: four guys in a bullpen in San Quentin. <laughs> what do we do? How do we get here? What do we do wrong? You got the picture? Oh, it's not my best impression. He's a fucking dead old man. I'm, listen to Give me. Give him a break. I'm, I do your I people am, better than I do my I'm, people. I'm, I'm Who the fuck are you? I'm giving him a break. <laughs> he, he raised the As bar. As Christopher Walken said in that close range, Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Hiya, boys. Looking good. I got a meeting tonight. <laughs> no, you know what he, he, you know the movie? <laughs> when he goes to <laughs> <laughs> he goes to see Sean Penn and Chris Penn. And I, you, you seen it close range? No. What? <laughs> no. no. Sean Penn and Chris Penn play brothers, and okay. Walkins, they're like complete deadbeat, like robs people father, right? And he goes up to them, and they're in the uh, driveway, and he wants to get weed from them, his sons. <laughs> but his they live with the mother, they're divorced. And the mother's up on the porch, and she's just an old, <laughs> fucking miserable Western Pennsylvania hag on a rocking chair, like she's like half crazy. And he goes, Hiya, boys. And he looks up at the porch and goes, looking good. <laughs> <laughs> I got a meeting tonight with some important friends. I was wondering if you boys could help your daddy out with some wacky tobacco. Fucking James. Jesus Christ. People man. see farms when they look out their windows. I see opportunities. <laughs> Jesus, man. We got Jess on the line for Jay. Jess. La 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 la. What's up, boys? Hey. 
Hey, you guys are missing Jay's best one. It even actually fooled you, Opie, when he called in the one time and he was doing the Colin. Yeah, the Colin Quinn's amazing. Audio, you actually said, is that why Colin's not here? And we talked about right. it in the beginning, stupid. It's the first thing we said when we sat down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'll do a little cool in the radio show. We'll talk about things that happened before I started listening. <laughs> God, dummy. I'm working on my great novel. <laughs> It's amazing. I'm up to page 11. <laughs> How to influence friends and win people in show business. I don't want to be in Austin Powers. I'm doing my own thing. I'll be at a comic strip holding Lucian Holmes' cold, clammy hands for the next two weeks. <laughs> that was just for you, Patrice. <laughs> Shut up, stupid. <laughs> big I, got, I got black guys always get so mad when white guys wear tight pants. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to make up shit as the person. You can't just do them. You have to make up what the person know. would say. I, I have to But he, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. Jay is like a fucking... He's relentlessly good at... Like, some motherfucker... Th th it's unfair. I'm like he, Manny Pacquiao. He's, it's unfair. I don't stop. Like, fucking <laughs> Dean is good, but Dean is, won't be like how Jay is now. No. Like, it's hard to follow Jay doing impressions. Yeah. See, that's what's hard to do. Right now, no one can come in and follow what Jay's doing. That's why I'm saying in terms of hearing mm -hmm. a fucking character, I don't know because Jay's so good at doing what he's doing. But if a motherfucker comes in and, and go, impression for impression, is is Caliendo's Barkley good? It's great. Yeah, but but is his is it better? Maybe. You're just going to get... Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You've got to be funny with the impression. Jesus the thing with Christ, Caliendo I didn't realize Jay was like just that, though. Get, I didn't. Yeah, tough acting to acting. Yes. <laughs> Ace is the place. Help the Lord, Mindy. Man. Ooh, Mindy. Like, but here's what I like about the All fact right, that I really, what I really enjoy is that he calls me out on something that... You know, like, I remember a white dude called me out when I go, you know, hey, hotel, I was trying to know white shit, and I'm like, Hotel California's guitar riff was is one of the best, Thumbs right? Up. And he just goes, you. F he looked at me like some of a white guy goes, MC Hammer, huh? I'm like, <laughs> and, and, and that's how he fucking told me to go fuck myself. And I'm sitting there going, John Madden, dude. And Jay's like, fuck you, and does a jump, and I'm like, okay. See, that's, it's there like, all right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's what I'm shit. saying. I thought it was amazing, but a guy that fucking does impressions is like, get that, that bullshit. And that's what I appreciate about this this new uh, thing I just found out about. I'm yeah. like Dwight Howard. I like to block a lot of shots and then run back <laughs> to the court and fucking <laughs> stuff it in his face. <laughs> That was fucking But what is it with black? If you play the dozens of black guys, the dozens are over the minute the black guy says, What's with your tight pants you got on? <laughs> and then he goes, ah, ah, Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh! And then they walk around because it's too funny to sit still! Oh shit! You got tight pants on! You got tight pants on! And you're like, Yeah, but what about your mom? Oh no, nigga, you got tight pants on! <laughs> like, I don't know why tight pants has become the fucking atom bomb of black comedy. <laughs> it's so true. Uh, you be killing uh, Keith Robinson. You'll kill him. Go. Well, you were great in rebound, Keith. <laughs> Way to go. We really thought you were going to turn your career around when you were on rebound on Showtime. <laughs> oh, shut up, goddammit, with your tight pants. <laughs> and everybody goes, oh, shit. Oh, he wears pants that fit him. Let's let's we gotta leave it there. We gotta oh. wrap up. Jay Moore oh, fucking killed shit. today. God damn Jay. Patrice <laughs> fucking killed today. Oh, Patrice shit. is in Poughkeepsie. Gary, I'm married. I'll I'll be in Santa Monica by the time this airs. Oh, uh, you're live? Yeah, we're live. Oh, uh, uh what? <laughs> Gary I'm married CBS, of course, so Wednesdays at eight thirty. Hiya boys. <laughs> looking good. <laughs> looking good. You see that, Anthony? Uh, I haven't seen it's it, but I can so completely fucking, picture it when you're doing it. It's like, hilarious. It's a grand driveway. Bruce, Bruce Bruce piece Willis. of shit sitting there. Welcome to the party, pal. Bruce oh, Willis and Demi okay. Moore have become the same person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Mr. Brooks with Dane Cook. Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Patrice O'Neill on the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> Come out to the coast, have a few laughs. <laughs> oh, Bruce, why do you leave him alone? <laughs> when did Al Pacino become Big Daddy on Cat on a Hot Tin Roof? <laughs> Patrice is in Poughkeepsie, he's a big deal. <laughs> Maybe I don't chew enough when I talk. <laughs> the best is in Insomnia. You ever see that movie? Ah, uh, yeah. The sun never goes down. He's in Alaska trying to solve a murder, but he's up for like 14 days. That's Robin Williams, right? Yeah, it's yeah. great. It's so underrated. 
And they go, well, they're your suspect. He goes, well, why don't we go down to the schoolyard? We'll pull them out of class, shake them up. <laughs> and they go, it's 10 o'clock. He goes, I know, at night. Oh. <laughs> why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> You want to call? Where's my phone? You want to call Al Pacino right now? Thank you, Why, guys. Of course I do. He's a friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Tell little Jimmy to stop making fun of my height. <laughs> I'm a lair. It's the good. And my wig. God, it's not a wig. Damn. I'll say that. It doesn't matter. Matter. It's not a wig. At this I know. point, it doesn't matter. Just so you know, <laughs> not a wig. 88 minutes was an odd color, mind you. Yeah, he dyed it a little and weird. red hair. I get, gray stuck, side, I, get, I get stuck in Colin a lot, too. That's a big problem. Whenever I say it on stage, all of a sudden, the next, like, four minutes that I talk to the crowd, this guy wearing his nice... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! God damn, is that oh my fucking God. Colin? <laughs> Nice. You think somebody? <laughs> <laughs> I get I get stuck in Tracy. I get stuck in and Colin. Those are the only two I get stuck Colin. in. <laughs> like walking is like way too sweaty. Like you can't walk around the house. Like talking to your wife is walking, yeah. but I can't say to my wife like. It's nice you made. <laughs> you so think, fucking you funny. Think, when you laugh, I always laugh. Oh my god, dude! That is so that's so Colin. That's not a hack, Colin. I can't even. We I can't even make anybody. Hack Colin. Yeah. No one's laughing. They're all looking at my freshly pressed pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what I'll do. I'll wear a nice new shirt to the show. No one will notice. <laughs> oh, stop staring at my shirts, you dummies. <laughs> Just listen always. Oh, yeah, you understand something. We live in a world where, you know, housewives are listening to gangster rap doing aerobics and all the gangster rappers wearing rollers in their hair gossiping. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happens? Rich Voss called and hung up so we can get back to his day job of doing nothing. <laughs> Married to that... Canadian bunny. Uh, let me tell you how horrible Jeez. this fucking is right now. Holy shit. Is because he's 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 not doing quips that Colin. That's what I'm trying to explain no, to you. That's no. what he was saying. That's what I'm hanging my hat but on. It's almost, you got to your old materialist it's, it's again. It's fucking dangerous. Yeah. To cliche up Colin, because that's what Colin does. Oh, yeah. That's not what he does. It's not what he does, <laughs> but he could do that. Don't fucking. <laughs> <laughs> don't what? what are you, you don't even make destroying. sense, you stupid. <laughs> what do you want with a rosary board at St. Pat's? He's not even Catholic. He walks around and goes right to the gift shop. <laughs> Take a drink from the holy water and keeps going. Thinks it's a goddamn trough, you people. <laughs> then on his way out, he doesn't tip anybody. <laughs> Sees people putting money in a slot. Thinks it's a peep show at St. Pat's. <laughs> nice rosary with a cross. Jesus is supposed to be on the cross. It's called Corpus Christi, stupid. <laughs> Corpus Christi, the body of Christ, not that fake Guido you got hanging from those two boards on your neck. Adrian's a man hanging from a cross. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. I don't even know where I got that reference, because I stink. I don't not, know work. not only is it the best Colin I'm one in done. the business, it's the only Colin yeah, one yeah, in the oh, business. Yeah, yeah. That's because nobody knows who he is. Let's be honest. <laughs> it's a very sad thing that he's not that far away, impression-wise, from... Harvey Keitel, women get raped every day. <laughs> the series must go seven games. The series must go seven games. Let's be honest. Let's be honest, folks. It's not that hard to do, me. He's got it broken down, man. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh
When uh, you and I were friends and raised yeah, a yeah, pint go. with Guinness, <laughs> brought him in. Harp and Schmidix. So about the Opie and Anthony show, Patrice O'Neill filling in for Jim Norton is going to be on Leno tonight. And now we say hi to an old friend. He's been calling our show, but first time in studio and I we think like two years. Jay Moore, everyone. Yes. Jay Moore, come on! We've got a live audience out there. Give him a little both of something, something. Yeah. Friday's the Not day. On the uh, bleachers. Jay, you should have came here Friday. There's over 100 people every Friday. It's like Rascals in Ocean Township in the winter. <laughs> 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 I, I, I don't know. Something about now. Opie's been on Twitter for a while. I just uh, entered the world gay. of fucking Twitter last night. I like night. the Twitter. Why? What do you think is so interesting that pe that how many people are into your Twitter? How um, many people? Thousands, are right? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm like I'm up to seventeen thousand or so. I'm no, off he's off the grid. He's off the grid. He decided I'm to go slowly off the grid. going off the grid, baby. He's I'm pulling everything. Fuck really? Yeah. It's not a bad thing. It might be good for people working, but <laughs> <laughs> if I can get a job, I'll go off completely off the grid. You don't man. Facebook you're not, you're or anything? That's you're not at helium this weekend. No. No. You don't Facebook or anything, Jay. Uh, you don't need like, to though. If you say Jay Moore, you can come. To, they come. Yeah. It's like how Nipsey Russell used to do it. That's why. I'm, that's I'm why. I, Ryman. That, that's why I just canceled the Lisner Auditorium in DC. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Jim Jeffries canceled it too. I read. Really? Yeah. Why? 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 Nobody fucking buys tickets. No one has money right now. Broke. Fuck that! They got take. I thought uh, entertainment was. Risk why am I shouting? First of all? <laughs> yeah, he's yelling. Patrice eating a big fucking thing of watermelon. Way to break a stereotype, you fucking moose. I think I sound just like Jimmy as I sit here. <laughs> <laughs> fucking chewing on his fork. <laughs> ah, he likes watermelon. You know, I don't know what do. You should make fun of his pit black man. Can nice eat watermelon? You should make fun of his nice hat. I like his hat. When you have to get it back to Clyde Frazier. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice hat. <laughs> Nothing on Clyde Frazier. I laughed. I like the Clyde. I Frazier know you like it. it. He was swishing and dishing on his good. way into the studio. Enough this morning. with the big words. I just need a little play by play and a little color commentary. I love him. I have penetrating and percolating. It's going good. Picked up. Uh, <laughs> we got a full season pickup, yeah. Now you got to sit around and wait for the second season. You want to come what, on? The, what do you mean? We can use a colored. <laughs> well, I thought you, I thought you had Holy one. Holy shit! No, we got. Isn't it? Don't you have like a fucking third world guy on there? Something it has to be mixed. <laughs> a third Al Madrigal. I think I, I watched He's a few Mexican. times. Like your kids. <laughs> third <Okay>. world. <laughs> third world something to, for CBS to fucking have one there. I think one of your kids is kind of black, like some half black kid or something. It's like it's, the kid that plays my son looks exactly like Andre Ethier from the Dodgers, which no one in the studio mm, audience will get. Yeah. Kenny, that coffee's delicious. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Coming me right up. Let me unlock the toilet Jane? for Opie first. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll get your coffee and stir it with my nose. Dude, they guard that stupid bathroom. What's going to happen? I'm an angelfish. <laughs> <laughs> you are getting successfully plump, too, my friend. No, I, I'm actually slimming down. I got huge for uh, the movie Street Kings. You, what, did you gain weight for oh, a shoot. movie? Oh, yeah. I was Are you right, Robert De Niro, motherfucker? I was right out of my Get face. over yourself, big nigga. Cop, they told me to. You were they doing... told you to get fat for a movie? No, I wasn't fat. I was yoked, dude. I was big. You were doing a Raging Bolt thing? Or... What, like muscles? Bro, was, oh, you were Jack. Oh, Jack for Street Kings? Yeah, because I, I, I had to be the guy that like Keanu Reeves and Hugh Laurie and Forrest Whitaker were afraid of. Like I, I, I'd but you was only in it for like... Yeah, that's why I'm doing fucking television, because you don't get cut out of it, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> There's an entire I scene... Street Kings, I'm like, Jay Moore's in Street Kings? <laughs> oh, he got shit. buffed for a fucking special guest, Jay Moore? I got buffed for the script. <laughs> for an under five? Did you get... <laughs> you ain't oh, lying. got muscles for an under five? It was, it was it's true. For Did a little it? more time on the big screen. Holy all shit. The, it was all in the script. You know, there's an entire scene where I'm talking to Keanu Reeves in the uh, bodega when he... When he and uh, Forrest Whitaker, you saw it, right? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Forrest Whitaker's like, maybe when I come back in here, maybe this tape <laughs> will be missing. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Ah, <laughs> protect you. <laughs> <laughs> I only do black Forrest guys. I was in that movie too, with that bad eye. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am chewing up this scene. <laughs> I could not be more proud of my men. <laughs> I only do black guys now. <laughs> and chicks. That's fucking great. And there's an entire uh, like three minute scene where me and Keanu Reeves are going back and forth like we're almost gonna fight. And the whole scene, you just see my left ear and Keanu's gorgeous little face. <laughs> and I went, "That's it. Get me a show." Why would they do that to somebody and have them adjust what they look like in a movie that they're not sure you're gonna fucking be in enough to look good? Well, I don't know, Patrice, but you're making me feel good. No, I'm, what, what, 
No. Nigga, you, let me tell you something. Yeah, I love when black guys call me nigga. <laughs> Fucking. Yesterday I was coming, I was walking down uh, 55th Street and some guy goes, Oh, that's my nigga. Oh shit, what's that nigga's name? <laughs> <laughs> Jay. I just kept walking. Has <laughs> never not worked. I, I, like, I've been in the game a long time. Jay is all, since I met him, Jay's been one of those dudes that just never didn't have never a job. Never went away. Coffee, right. please. Never. Uh, Kenny, where's yeah. his coffee? How Come long on. I gotta wait? It's like charcoal already. <laughs> In a minute. <laughs> the fuck is this? It's fucking. Don't you guys have coffee here? Uh, you it's think? You don't want. She's not able to function without this coffee. I can fuck it, but now it's like a matter of principle. You don't, <laughs> I want my fucking. You don't want coffee. the coffee we make Why here. Why is it Nanda Lewis? There you like go, a you're asked. No, oh, you went to Starbucks? Uh, for uh, you, just for you. Freshly shaven Kenny? Yes. You're the best, for you. you're the best honey. The best one about the Kenny, he looks like the, an Accela train. That's that's the best one that came in. Accela train, yeah. That's the best when one. When Jimmy's in, in L.A., whose car do you pull around? <laughs> I think it was like the, my favorite Kenny is actually, I think it was Jay's line where he said he looked like an angel fish. Oh, yeah, he said it right. <laughs> yeah, an Danny, angel fish. That was like an angel fish. That was yours? Yeah. yeah. I, did it a, I called you from the set of Ghost Whisperer. Okay. And I put uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt on the phone with yeah. you. And I, look, and I said he looked like an angel fish. Yeah, all right. Because we use that one all the time. Some of these things you get blurred. You don't remember Still where married. it came from. Huh? Still married? Oh, yeah. Who are you married to? Somebody famous, right? <laughs> Ananda Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you married to, Jay? Nikki Cox. You really didn't know that? What the race? fuck? Give me a break. That's Richard. a big nigga. I know. I know. Uh, you know enough about white people. You don't. Yeah, that's I mean, okay. I mean, I, I think he, that's falling into I, I, a whole I know new category. He was married to someone famous. Someone that had a, a name. How many so, kids you got? None. I tried. I was trying to get my girl pregnant just to see if I could. I'm Why? trying to get her pregnant. And, uh, and, uh, and she's getting her breasts are getting. So you might you might have done it. This is big news. <sighs> it's what she could be on a period. Uh, but hmm. I think she's been trying to throw herself down the well, stairs. Well, she's on a period, then she's not pregnant. One. She doesn't want to have one? Nah, she has. I she, thought she would want one she got with one. you. Yeah, she would, but... It, just she, to see if you could do it, and then she's just going to fucking yeah, just throw herself fun. down the stairs. But stair, I never yeah. came inside of a woman. I'm going to tell you, if I found that out what? when I was younger, I'd have eight kids. I'd be Sean Kemp if I found out <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah. how fucking good coming inside of a vagina. It's it just... You never fucking... Always... Always pulled, pulled, pulled out, out on your face, titties, stomach. <laughs> you never just left it in and fucking sh buried it deep and mm, fuck that. Recently, Holy shit. And, that's it's, too much and it's addic stress. it's addicting. No it's shit. Addicting. That's why this planet's crawling with humans. <laughs> it's it's fucking, fantastic. Oh, it's just, I'm trying. I'm trying to have kids now. Yeah. So like, I I would never waste one. You're constantly just creaming. And right inside. Cream huh? pie. And go, come on my tits. And you go, no, no, no. no. I won't. No. I won't. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> I sound like the gay guy on uh, Mean Streets. Would you tell him to calm down? I won't. <laughs> and you have, and you have no kids. I have a six-year-old from a previous disaster. <laughs> <laughs> my son was born two months premature because he couldn't wait to get away from that cunt either. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Friday fart song, guys. Uh, uh, the kid is. <laughs> your son is now six. That yes. went fast. Wow, that's fucked up. Six yeah. one two twenty. Who could win in a fight? You or Tracy Morgan? I don't know. You'd kill him. Yeah. I don't know. Come Tracy's on, from Tracy. Brooklyn. What's like, that mean? So is Riddick Bowe. He's in jail. I don't know. So he'd fight dirty, is what he's I wouldn't saying, even. Right? I don't have no clue. Where are you from? I'm from Boston. Boston, that's right. Yeah. yeah. You, that's you what we, know, that's what we met. The second someone got hurt, it would just end in gunfire. <laughs> it's just the way yeah, it works. I have no clue. <laughs> but, but there's no comic that I think of that I go, there's one, uh, like... Like Corey Holcomb looks like he can fight. Yeah, Joe Rogan. Uh, Rogan. Rogan can kick I, ass. But if I didn't know Rogan was a dangerous human being, you wouldn't think he. I, I'd I'd go for, I'd go for Rogan. But oh, man, would that be a mistake? But, that, wait a minute, that, but I, I, a I, know, mistake. I know he's dangerous. Yeah, yeah. If I didn't know he was dangerous, who I go? Well, I don't know if I fuck with him. It's, there's not many comics you go. Oh man, you get a little nervous physically. Yeah. What are you? you know, when Rogan's a guy. If he had a, if I had a bat in my hand and he said, "Come on," <laughs> I would lay the bat down. And I'm walk away. talking because yeah, we yeah. know this motherfucker's a dangerous weapon. I'm talking about looking at him. I don't know True. if looking at him Rogan, he looks scary. He well, he's all roided out. <laughs> oh, <he laughs> looks, like me and, <laughs> looks like me and Street Kings. <laughs> Is he bigger now? He's a big he boy. A I just already know that that fucker can fight. So I'm talking about. Remember Mitch Mulaney? Yeah. Rest his soul, he died. The guy from Oakland, uh, Nick Frino, like Yeah, big Mitch Mulaney. We were in a fight with this guy, this Harbor Heights Mexican Mafia guy in the uh, Laugh Factory. This guy got crazy and just started fighting everybody. And it was like me, 
Like, Tony Rock ran inside the second the fight broke out. His breath fought, though. But there's a, there's a, there's a story about Tony uh, tagging a couple of motherfuckers up in L.A. That Tony's uh, Badass. boxing people up. Alonzo, well, I was, Alonzo Bowden I was looks at like a fight. he might be able to fucking fight. I was at yeah. a fight where Tony Rock ran inside and held my jacket. This one. <laughs> Ralphie May was fighting. Jamie Masada was fighting. Tony Rock ran inside. Really? Because this guy was, like, whacked out on PCP, and he had all the tats and stuff. And, um... It got broken up, and then him and his friends were trying to get him out of the uh, the little foyer. And then as they were pulling him out, you know, me, Mr. Big Mouth, I said, "Yeah, fuck you and your set." And then all his <laughs> oh, friends that were holding shit. him back went, "What? What? What? Ah, what?" So now there's three people like that want to fight. <laughs> and his set, like, like, his... why would you even say that? Because fuck him, I was mad. This I was in L.A. Fuck him and his set. <laughs> oh, Yo, him. I'm crazy. <laughs> fuck him and the Crips. Like, just leave him alone, motherfucker. Fuck that. Because he's, fucking... he's a fucking piece of garbage. You host the last comic standing. Just go inside <laughs> and shut your fucking mouth. And you know how I got that job in the octagon? I earned it. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, I'm not saying. I'm going to fuck up Joe Rogan. Then people turn into something. Y'all don't saying, do that. They're, if I seen him, like, where well, you go, badass, you go, man, man this, does fuck this that. motherfucker look like something? I don't know. You saw Andre, what's his name? The fucker that looks like. You know that's going to turn into that on the message boards. Patrice said he what could fucking guy? kick uh, your ass, the Joe. The baddest dude in the world, Fedor. Oh yeah, Fedor was sitting there looking just like a guy. You just go. I'm Were you here when we push Fedor? Yeah. Were you happens. here when we interviewed Fedor? Yeah. I was in Irvine Scary. listening to you guys in the replay. You could great. hear the 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 fear in our voices. I like right? I like halfway through the translation, he'd go. <laughs> he doesn't look like somebody that walks in and will fuck you up. But You're he just, crazy. You don't remember he Mitch Mullaney? Doesn't, dude. He had that look in his eye, man. But we, you, hold we already on. knew. Let me rewind real quick. You do, you, do you remember this Mitch Mullaney? Was a weird. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We were in this fight in the sidewalk, and we fought this guy for a half hour because he wouldn't go down. He was on PCP. Right. And I mean, four people hit this guy. From his hairline <laughs> to his forehead for 30 minutes. He's bow, 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 bow. And he just going, fucking niggers, fucking niggers. Just kept yelling it over and over. Four white guys hitting him. He just kept he yelling. Just said, Let's, he kept yelling, fucking niggers. We get blamed. For <laughs> <laughs> like, well, he earned it. <laughs> so Mitch Mullaney pulls up in like a 72 Cadillac coupe and he gets out. And apparently Mitch grew up like in Oakland fighting. Like that was his thing. But he's like a nerdy white guy. Yeah. And Mitch gets out of his car, goes, all right. And like pulls up his pants and just starts. Like hitting the guy's friends, like he's boxing the hell out of the guy, and like hitting the guy's friend when he feels like it. <laughs> like, wow, take that with you. Like, like Mitch was good with his fingers. Crazy, like the uh, like Richard Pryor's Ali Richard, joke. You like, Richard, take that with you. Mitch Mullaney had it. Uh, Mick Frino was his his break. That was he had a show called Mick Frino on WB. My, I don't remember. I'll, I'll have to Google him. Yeah, Mitch Mullaney. Yeah, so Mitch Mullaney can too. box. Yeah, it was crazy, and we were all like, "Thank God he diabetes, came in." Diabetes, so you know he grew up with black. Like that motherfucker. <laughs> he you know, died. You don't hear about white people. He died of the diabetes. Yeah, he had diabetes. What at, were you at the Tyra thing yesterday, Patrice? Yes, I caused this. <laughs> How great was that? You see that? <laughs> Only a group of black women would start something that riotous. <laughs> oh my God, that car going to blow up! <laughs> a, car, a car with smoke coming out of it. Ten th and you see the close-ups of some of those models? Oh, yeah. Ooh, They're wearing models. wave caps. Stay home. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Randy Moss at 5'6". <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that car going to explode. You see all the slut clothes on, in the street? I didn't see the slut clothes. Oh, I just that, saw the ones that... They had to clean it up I like they cleaned up snow. <laughs> <laughs> so much. I saw a group photo. It looked like employees of Dwayne Reed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, story he got that, like, uh, uh, the, 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 Obviously, a shitload of fucking people in front. They kind of did a who thing. It was time to open the doors and everyone pushed forward. But why was there a he? It was a, yeah, right. a group of female models and yeah. some girl goes, oh my god, he got a gun. There was a gun? No, but they just, they caused the yeah, story. Somebody oh, said oh, somebody, somebody said had a gun. Where are you performing, Patrice? I don't know. Hmm? Nothing. Hmm. Where, yeah, Patrice, where? Poughkeepsie. Where? He's off the grid. He March, doesn't want to plug. March twenty. My only one. People you just there. got your website up. March twenty seventh and twenty eighth. Yeah, you were excited about that website. For I a while. was excited about. You were doing it. videos and stuff. Um, Everyone was taking a look at it. Well, after this thing, man, I'm just I'm just falling a little. I'm going to give information. Your Patrice O'Neill, the 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 font that I liked, and the your 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 that Dude, your website yeah, the, the, was good. I really liked the it. Pirated Patrice. Disney it'll font. I didn't want to say it because it was a problem. Of course, CBS man, now Anthony. 
back. It'll be back. <laughs> Satellite now. Just, but just information. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to follow. I'm just going to follow. No, no easy pass. Just a little info. None of that shit. No mm. easy pass. None You're of that crazy. shit. No Why? easy pass. He's easy like Tony Soprano. So easy. Take the fucking OnStar out of the goddamn he's Escalade. Like, he's like Paulie. You got to go knock on his door to give him his dates. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Paulie talked to no one. Now I got to turn my back on you. <laughs> what are you doing in town, Jay? Do we know? That's right. Uh, just press for the thing, the show. But the thing. Married. Why the you, thing. Why you press downplay that? for the thing. Why are you downplaying that? <laughs> I watch the show. It's, it's a big hit. I'll tell you what. It's, yeah. They got him. It's a show where a guy almost can be a dude. They got him almost as a dude. And I'm not, that's not an insult. <laughs> I know no, what you mean. I'm, it's not no, we were insult. just talking about this this morning. It's Jay, almost, so. He's almost Where like, every white know, guy on TV is just a fucking He's not a complete douche. slouching yeah. Coach Gamora. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Just a who's poor talking about douche. that book here? Slouch huh? Who's talking about slouching towards Gamora? Nick DiPaolo. Yeah, right. But every white guy on TV is yeah. just like, yeah. okay, honey. It's just the worst. We, we were talking about that commercials where the fucking wife is inside looking at her incompetent husband trying to barbecue. Yeah. And he's like running back and forth on fire. And she's like, oh, oh that idiot. But your wife, <laughs> like, what the fuck? That's what white people are your now, wife, white guys. Your wife on the show still does shit that you just go, that real, it just wouldn't happen. Like, she interferes with yeah. a little bit of this and that. Like, you just you just go, but that's what I'm saying. It's like almost there, but an ex-wife having that much say in a guy's life, <laughs> you just go, bitch, shut the fuck. Shut your <laughs> stupid mouth. Bitch. Like, because some of it's not even with the kids. That's how it it's is in just, rehearsal. You know. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jay. I love Jay. <laughs> you know, like when you get a script, play along, Patrice, but when you get a script in show business. Oh, oh. Oh. Fair enough. As I get thrown off, I swear to God. Oh, trying to, I'm just trying to figure out how to get him. His, his big <laughs> reference is Corey Holcomb. <laughs> as a fighter, but as a comic, too. What about Gary Brent? Goldman? I almost fought Gary Goldman. Gary looks like a fucking Who wins guy. in a fight, me or Gary Goldman? My eyes... No, no, no. Just by look, I don't know. By eyes. By, by, Is it by a fucking looking, staring contest? Is, that, no, by <laughs> Is Chris looking, Jericho here? We're going to have a blink off? He could scrap. You I know that. I know Jade could scrap. Right. He's from Jersey and he got a big mouth. Yeah. So you know he had the beef. Gary's he, intense, though. Gary Goldman, I'd say Gary would beat Jay. Just looking. That's what I mean. Let's just ask looking Jay. At what do you think, Jay? You know. Oh, I don't. It'd be over. It's quick. Uh, you or him? I'd win, yeah. Nice. We almost got in a fight on Last Comic Standing, and yes. then it got separated, and then I was driving away. I had an assistant at the time, this kid Charlie, and Charlie was a big dude, man. Charlie was like 300 <clears> pounds, <throat> like 6'6", defensive end. He played for Miami. Yeah. And we're driving away, and I go, you know what bothers me? I go, look at Corey Holcomb over there, just standing there outside. Just look. You know, what bothers me the most is Corey Holcomb thinks that Gary Goldman would have beat me up. And then my <laughs> assistant looked at me like... <clears throat> Like, that's what I think, too. And I go, turn the fucking car around right now. <laughs> and I went back. We made a U-turn in the CBS City Center parking lot. And I got out of the car, and I went into, Corey, I went into Gary, Old, uh, Gary Oldman. Gary Goldman. Jay, what are you doing here? Yeah. I went into Gary, uh, <laughs> Gary Goldman's dressing room and said, all right, motherfucker. And then he threw a bottle of water at me, and Tammy Pescatelli held him back. Tammy? Really? But I got held back by Alonzo. What about Philly? I got held back by, why, I got held back why, by Alonzo. Why the street anger, though, Jay? I can't have a fucking assistant thinking I would have gotten beaten but up. But why, like, would, like he why did me are you favor. not above that? What is wrong with you? I'm above it now. Because I don't give a shit about anything. That shit was last week. Last time I was standing. That was two years ago. That's a while ago now. Gary Gomez was four years ago? I was he, married to someone else. Mm. Oh, so you was making things a different. Well, why, I was why, an why, angry, 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 upset, not happy person. Just wanted to beef. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't hit her. <laughs> no. and Nikki calmed you down. Like Nikki helped her. Turn my whole life. Save our life. Do, now, do you feel life. like you're just as funny as you was when you was angry? Or? Way funnier. You're funnier now. Yeah, because it's all—it's not an act. It's all personal things that happened to me. It's all stories that really happened. It's not like I'm not on stage to like get pussy or like uh, to impress everybody. Stories. Right. Okay. Okay. St stories. That's, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, Philly's own uh, Keith Robinson? What do you think? Keith can beef. Keith can fight. God Keith damn fight. it, Patrice! You know I can fight. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the best of the black man today. God damn it! I told. I was with. I was with Kevin. You remember Chappie from Boston? I'll do Chappie. Cha Chappie's in. He's an actor. He's in everything. He's in this movie. The, the, he's, he's on the, the Showtime show. show. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Chappie and <laughs> Keith Robinson were in my apartment playing uh, Madden, and <laughs> Keith was running the shit. Like Keith had everyone crying. Like we were not not 
and laughter, you could not beat. He was the Cowboys. You could not beat him at Madden. Right. And he's playing Chappie, and Chappie's the Pats or somebody. He's like, God, I'm gonna run right, Chappie. God damn it. I'm gonna run right. <laughs> God damn it, Chappie. I told you I'm gonna run right. Look at that. Oh, I got a touchdown, Chappie. God damn it. <laughs> and Chappie is like, like and Chappie's like a crazy like South Boston angry, angry, angry oh, South Boston white man. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. he yeah. could beat Chappie, up, he yeah. could beat up Joe Rogan. No oh, shit. You can't teach rage. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, he's totally white, total Whitey Bulger. You know, he went and paid back Whitey Bulger, he everything he owns, and uh, at the candy store. And Kevin Weeks, Whitey Bulger's like muscle guy, goes uh -huh. was staring at him the whole time. And then Whitey Bulger looked up at Chappie and goes, "What about the points, Chappie?" And he's like, "What do you mean?" He goes, "What about the juice that you owe?" Chappie goes, "Look, I've been sober a year." You know, I used to smoke crack, and I'm, I'm sober now, and I don't drink. That's every penny I've ever owned in my life. I'm going home to a mattress on the floor. You can kill me right fucking now. <laughs> That's all I got. And get this fucking monkey out of my face. <laughs> oh, shit. Just Kevin Weeks is like, but like this close, you know? And Whitey Bulger, like for a minute, just stares at Chappie and goes, All right, you're all right. Go ahead, get out of here. Him and his wife go on vacation to the Grand Canyon with another couple, and everyone said Whitey Bulger, that's where he went when he went on the witness protection program. He wouldn't pose for photos of the Grand Canyon because he was afraid Whitey Bulger would see him. <laughs> Cha like, this is, wow. yeah, Chappie. Like Whitey ran, he was the guy. Chappie yeah. was like, a fucking Southie. Go over there and pose for a picture. Chappie's like, no, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll take it. You guys go ahead. Like he thought he would take it, but he wouldn't pose because he didn't want Whitey Bulger to go. There's that motherfucker. <laughs> and by the way, same the Grand like, Canyon. Kind of there. I'm, I'm, for some reason, I was up all night one night just looking at most wanted every state, most wanted anything. Just yeah. Looking at who's wanted. He's up there. Um, interesting. Two things. One, Whitey Bulger is in the world's most wanted. Yeah. Really? Not just FBI. Not just North. Mexico. Oh yeah, they want that motherfucker. So, bad. Along with cartel dudes from Mexico. And a couple and, a, and some Russian dude that looks like a Chinese dude from uh like Kazakhstan, Whitey Bulger in the top ten world's most wanted motherfuckers with Bin Laden, and that was interesting. And the second interesting thing is in New Jersey, the top wanted person in New Jersey is uh, a black woman who shot a cop, shot a state trooper thirty years ago and went to Cuba. And ha they haven't been able to get her from Cuba. They know where She's she like is. She's the most wanted. Do you know in, her name? In New Jersey. Jersey uh, how long before there's free blank T-shirts floating around? <laughs> and no, and that's how come every time a black person gets arrested, you gotta f I have to fucking free them. Why free, them. <laughs> free James Brown. James Brown took a shotgun and unloaded it into a police car. <laughs> Fuck James Brown. Free Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson puts kids' asses up to his face. <laughs> free the juice. OJ lopped off two people's heads like a fucking homemade guillotine. If that husky, if that Akeem could have talked. He would have been in jail ten years ago. They would have put that dog on the stand. Burr, that nigga did it. <laughs> that dog had blood on the dog's all mad. He's got blood on his little fruity feet. Oh my God. <laughs> you know those Akinas. Funny, that's why I needed yeah. that coffee. Jake <laughs> <That's laughs> <Jay, laughs> just, just, just woke up. A big glass of his act. <laughs> right. No. Oh, God damn. <laughs> that fruity Akita could have put OJ away. But it's stupid. stupid. I hate Akitas. The, oh. the tail curls forward, so you got to stare at their asshole all day, <laughs> and they know it. And their their hind hair, their leg on their hind leg, always always poofed out. <laughs> There's always loose chains and shit stuck to their ass. It's never clean. There's always a mint from a diner. Oh, shut up. That's funny. You're going to be in Poughkeepsie? Poughkeepsie. Tell the date. I don't want you off the grid. You're too funny, bro. March 27th yeah, and 28th. What's, what's up with that? We have to have the, an intervention with you. You can't go off the grid. Why are you doing only two days in Poughkeepsie? What else are they doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Friday, Saturday, or Saturday, Sunday? <laughs> no, that's Tuesday, Wednesday. Friday, uh, whatever Friday and Saturday is. Did you fart? Yeah. I was trying to get <laughs> oh, it. Jesus. It, whatever, you know what? You not laughed bad. too hard and you popped one out. I'll be honest with you, not, I've been, actually I've been not for, bad. I was doing it when fucking the, the, the ink girl was in there. It just <laughs> smells like... <laughs> it's like the stars were running. Over there. It, smells like, it smells like... It smells like fall meat. <laughs> it smells like soy... Soy duck. It's not bad. It's not sound like... I'm not bad, Mike and the Mad Dog. It's a little sweet. Patrice O'Neill farted. We're going to be back on the fam in the flesh. <laughs> in the flesh. Well, he's vegetarian what was, now. What so. that, yeah. We were talking about Jay, and you guys said something. Jay did the best something in the business. Oh, my God. The only something. 
Well, the, the, impre- the, 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 the impressions. You know, sort of yeah. impressions and Your rosary's listen. backwards. Could you turn it around for me? It's oh, making it's me nuts. Yeah. Oh, the fucking. Uh, Please show a little respect, uh, officer. Oh, the Colin Quinn is. Colin's great. Colin, no, no, there was um, one, though. Uh, you want to fight, officer? Uh, not the Christopher <laughs> Walken thing. Get the hell out no, of my house. We've been like, down that road. Obscure, There's a newer one. Of Tracy? He does obscure. Chris Penn? Fucking things. Norm that are really good, man. Obscure impressions are the best thing. Norm McDonald. Would you say you would you now would you put now this is he's another one that's uh, you you two there's there's rare with guys that do impressions that do good ones mm-hmm. are funny motherfuckers at the same time it's it's very rare mm-hmm. but would you put yourself would you put yourself up against what's the guy the the dude from TBS oh Caliendo yeah would you yeah put, I declared war on him a while ago <laughs> I wanted like a Biggie Tupac thing going who's who's better who do you think is as war. good or better when you I go, think I I'm better him. because I make I no, make no anybody up. anybody who does it I think the best impression I've ever seen was was Roger Cable it was the best I, I that's saw. where I learned that's where I learned to do walking watching him. Roger Cable yeah I thought I Roger Cable was the no, best he's too crazy for the best for really. Life. I'd be surprised if he's still alive. How about Aries Spears? Would you go against Aries? <laughs> no. <laughs> not, not, going what? Against, not Aries, but do you think you're as good as him? In, in as an impressionist? Yeah. Who does he do? Star Jones? What does he do? He does Shaq. He does... I just, um, I just makes I his eye go a little But that's what he does. <laughs> so I mean, look, I just did it in my fucking sleep. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot of fucking famous things, <laughs> don't I? Chase declared war on all these See, guys. But Chase, don't you understand? <laughs> Bill Walton broke the code of the big man. Wow. That's code two 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 point seven. <laughs> those below do not criticize those above. <laughs> In his sleep. I got four rings. He's got one. So he needs to shut his mouth. <laughs> do that, there you go. motherfucker! I'm, I don't have to name other black people. Yeah, yeah let's go. Want to hear my Chris Tucker? That don't. I, yeah. That doesn't count. It doesn't count. Because <laughs> you, don't, it, have to, you like don't have to know English. Re- All right, Denzel. <laughs> I can't do Denzel. But I saw a guy on YouTube do it. He was phenomenal. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> All right, you got me. I See, I, I, he, I'm not going to go the easy route where it's like people do a, man, you know, the Chris Tucker. Oh, I, mean, I don't, I don't, even, say, I don't even say words. What's it? Go ahead. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 radio. Beep, 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 man. Man, man. We be letting you know. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Motherfucker sounds like traffic. <laughs> He's terrible. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> you think you're too heavy to laugh that hard. Oh, really. Uh, <laughs> that's good, right? Beep, beep, man. He's you do, you do rock? I know you must do a Chris Rock. You got to. No, I, I, he's like my favorite comic, though. You don't do a Chris Rock. Well, all I can do with him is like re- regurgitate what he already says. And But I really... My favorite thing about doing impressions is creating my own act for those people okay like i hate when people do an impression of somebody just do something that they, they do say in a movie or something, like when yeah. caliando does seinfeld he's like what's wrong with people yeah. like the, like well i've heard jerry seinfeld mm. say that i think caliando's uh the, the one that's the, the john madden well, here's a guy he jumps he, he jumps he goes higher and he runs like did you do that before him though did no, I'm just do doing, that? when you say them, I but just I'm, do them. But he <laughs> fucking, no one does a fucking Madden. Like that's, I just did it. It was pretty good. <laughs> if you that, no, he does, a real, you. he does a really good Bush. Who? Caliendo. He, he does. He does a really good Bush. And he does a good Al Pacino, and On I understand phone, that good. shit. You nope. know what? No, he does about, Pacino, too. How about young Pacino? How about fucking Dog? Uh, Ant does okay, young... Okay, we're Vietnam veterans. We don't mind killing. That don't mean nothing to us. Ant it's, does it's the time, young... It's time oh. daily from Cagney and Lacey. No, I just voice. do the young Al Pacino with the broken jaw. Yeah. What if he's a dirty cop? He was a bad cop. We have people on the papers. You know, yes! you gotta have you gotta have the uh, the broken jaw one. The broken jaw. Look, yeah. we'll go someplace. All right, here's uh, all right, Dog Day Afternoon. Okay. Annie W. play all the hits. <laughs> well, you got a boss. Why am I talking to you, then? <laughs> How about his boyfriend? You want to talk to him? You talk to him. He'll kill me. <laughs> I always with the robe. Why, the Leon? Robe. Why now? When things are going so well. I did everything. Up as down as Is there a Harvey Keitel? You're kidding. I'm asking. You haven't heard the Harvey? 
I'm, it's a big one. I'm at, You've there, never heard me do I'm Harvey Keitel? Yeah. 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 Like, you is, don't listen to our show. Is there a Ooh, Harvey Keitel? Sniznap. Is there a Harvey Keitel? Frizzum Zap. Zap Zap Zap. Oops. There is a Harvey Keitel. Is he able to be in the, uh, have an impression done of him? Oh, you know hell yeah. What what movie? Right, what's the Harvey Keitel? Bad what's, Lieutenant? Bad Lieutenant. Let a, Gentlemen, the series must go seven games. The revenue money alone. Between those two towns, there's no jobs in this town, or is there? You gotta you keep it up. Up. Come on, Daniel's eyes, eyes. Good eye, you nigga cocksucker! <laughs> 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 whip, 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 whip. <laughs> I like when he's smoking crack in the hallway, and the, the... now he's Michael Winslow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy, uh, his crack dealer, goes, "You know that shit's gonna kill you." And Kaitel goes, "What kind of businessman are you? You can't even back your own product." <laughs> 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 Women get raped every day. Now this one wears a penguin suit. They put up a reward. <laughs> the church is a racket. What the fuck's wrong with you? Are you a Catholic? I'm a Catholic. I'm blessed. <laughs> you know, this guy will blow up your fucking house with your family in it. Good. He'd be doing me a fucking favor. <laughs> <laughs> Say the goddamn words. <laughs> Who's going to be okay? Say the goddamn words. Wait, what's that from? Uh, Reservoir, Reservoir Dogs. Sure. Reservoir yeah. Dogs. Yeah, God damn, now, now I want some fucking... Excuse me, are you a doctor? Then you admit your medical opinion means nothing. <laughs> Why can't you do a Denzel? Because I haven't, because I don't know. He hasn't tried, really. Dean does a great... Dean, Dean, does hard. Does a, a Dean great, Edwards, right? Dean, yeah. He's, he's a, a good impression. Denzel's a rough one, man. Dean does a great Tracy Morgan. I did Forrest Whitaker. Generic. I, I got, you know what, I'm being an asshole, because he did do Forrest Whitaker and a Harvey yeah. Keitel. Yeah, yeah. Which is a big deal. I can do Ina, the barefoot contessa from the Food Network. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to get as obscure as, po yeah, right. as, as obscure as possible. As I sound, I sound like my son. Oh. Daddy, I'm trying to be as obscure as possible. You're gonna be okay. Say the goddamn words. You're gonna be okay. Did you have to say the goddamn words? No, that's the only one we got on that. <laughs> unfortunately. You're gonna be okay. Hey, does the, love blood by you. Hey, does the son have a sense of humor yet? Uh, it's terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a sign. Tracy, the motor coffee's kicking in. I get the stuck in Tracy. He's, yeah, he's Tracy. Sometimes my wife will say, "Do you need to go calm down?" <laughs> my exactly wife will say that to me. Does, Honey, do you need to? Do you need to go calm down? Can you stop? I'd be like, I don't want to. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> Tracy, Tracy said, "No, I said that to her." I'm like, I have no idea what the fuck. It Tracy's don't matter. About. It's like what you pry with the gold shoes on. They shot two shows that night. Huey Newton was in seat 5F. <laughs> <laughs> God, pointed him out. There's white people in here. I got to be careful. <laughs> Shit. I'm a doo doo pamp. Doo doo pamp. <laughs> we can ride out to the honeycomb hideout. Was y'all on uh, SNL together? No. You were gone before he got there? I was there very quickly. <laughs> Fuck. I, I you were there, he was not there when you were there? Playing a Jay, wow. I remember Jay playing a crew member on the uh, the uh, <laughs> ship on the submarine. Me and a towel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And all we did is grab each other's packages, the whole sketch. It was just, it's hysterical to <laughs> watch. Big Two of those striped shirts and a big tentacles are coming by, and you're playing grab dick with David Tell. <laughs> yeah, because we were so humiliated. Like, no, you guys are in the sketch. <laughs> yeah, you're in it. You don't say a word. You see your name it. at the top of the sketch, like who's in the sketch, and you're flipping through like, I don't have any lines in here. And then, then you rehearse, now. and you just stand by a window and a tentacle comes in and wraps <laughs> yeah, around yeah, yeah. you. <laughs> Did you leave that? You left? Or do you uh, let you go? Uh, uh, it's up for debate. You know, they do, you know, on June 20th, we'll let you know if you're picked up for a set, for a thir for another season. And then on June 20th, they go, all right, we're going to need another week to let you know. And you go, okay. And then they go, we're going to need another week to let you go. And then the third time I said, I don't forget it. I don't want to go back. That so, fucking so that, it's who knows that bit that bit with the fucking sportscaster that just played the backwards clips <laughs> that was so fucking <laughs> put a tan on that circus. <laughs> I was watching that one day and just laughing my ass like an idiot. Going, that is, I don't know why, but it's hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> I played a, I did a sportscaster and he just played uh, sports highlights, but I. I it was altered, like the highlight reel. I, I altered the footage, so it was like a tennis match, but I did it fast forward. I was like, whoa! 
Look at this guy go crazy. <laughs> and the guy in the basketball gone. game was up, the hockey game was upside down. Yeah. I go, whoa! Put a ten on that circus. They're on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. And then uh, uh, Scotty Pippen takes a shot, and then I just freeze it. I go, yeah. and the ball gets stuck in the air. <laughs> whoa! What was an amazing 90, highlight. Ninety three. Uh, shit, that was ninety three. He was on SNL. Yeah. <laughs> fucking sixteen years ago. What the fuck? He was on SNL. God damn, that's a while ago. Hey, look what they've done without me. Nothing. Oh, wait. <laughs> when did you start? Ninety. Start what? The business. Eighty-seven. I was sixteen years old. That was the thing back then. Him, Chappelle, everybody started before they was fucking allowed to. Yeah. I bought Dave Chappelle his first beer. Here's the problem. Here's my fundamental flow with Chappelle's do you act. Do, a, do you do a, Ch a Chappelle? I do do a Chappelle. Here's my problem with Chappelle's act. <laughs> uh, look, for the record, I don't want anybody spinning this anyway. Oh, Dave well Chappelle anyway. is fucking hilarious. The end. Cut okay? That out. Cut that out of the replay. Well, oh, it doesn't matter. It's <laughs> fucking <laughs> douchebags that listen to you. Yeah. <laughs> fucking yeah. what an absolute bunch of cocksuckers <laughs> that listen to you, too. <laughs> wow, no wonder you hate them. I'm not going to argue. <laughs> no, just, uh, and by the way, I got to get Steve Carlesi. I need, I need a couple home phone numbers from a few folks. I got to pay a couple of visits while I'm in town. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Nice photo yeah. you put up. You fucking cucks. I can wrap him in the head. Fucking mutt you. Uh, what were we talking about? Uh, Chappelle. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, Chappelle. Chappelle is a guy that does the white voice, the white guy, the goofy white guy go to punchline. But the problem with Chappelle is. Is he does his regular punchlines in the same white voice? You know why they don't take black people hostage? I'll tell you. We're bad bargaining chips. <laughs> <laughs> and then he does a white guy voice. He goes, so my friend says, Dave. And then his white guy voice is so completely out of the realm of what could actually be happening <laughs> that I know it's it's not true whatsoever. Like my friend says. Mm. Dave, <laughs> we're gonna get pulled over. Dave, Dave, Dave. Like you fucking drive around with a guy like that, really? <laughs> That's your friend. Your That's, friend is actually co close to Neil Brennan. No, it's not. <laughs> hey, Bonnie McFarland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my shit. God, Neil <laughs> No, I'm calling Bonnie McFarlane, Neil Brennan. Oh, oh, Shut up, stupid. Way. My daughter is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I went to sushi. <laughs> so rich, what the fuck happened to Rich Voss's career? He's, he's getting fucking, fucking show. He's getting beat no, up he, now. Like, in, uh, like, like, he had a couple karate kicks uh, the other night. <laughs> he fought some. Some guy rushed the stage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. threw a glass at him and rushed the stage. That, that was, was it. No, that, it helped him. Like Ralphie May. Oh, like, there, there's a few people like that. Got mm -hmm. more Dell has a something. Yeah, going there's on. a bunch of people that got mm -hmm. up on their feet because of it. Mm -hmm. And then Rich Voss parlayed it for a little while. I don't think. Oh, I don't think. I don't think Ralphie's big thing. I think Ralphie's big thing was uh, the the fat show, the show he lost weight. Oh, well, he did uh, Celebrity Fit Club. I think that one did him. Did him more than, than, than How uh, much did Ralphie lose on that show? Let's be honest here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Again! Some uh, pocket change. Uh, <laughs> I who did the I biggest from your kid. show? From that? From that show? The, who do you think had the most successful career to date? I would say strictly revenue. I would say Ralphie because he's always on the road and he's always pulling it in. I would say revenue wise, it'd be Ralphie. Not fame wise. I don't think anyone really. Mm -hmm. Who do you think? I don't know. No, no. Hey everybody, this is Dave Chappelle, and all my punchlines for some reason I do in a white voice. <laughs> I went up to Harlem, it was 3 o'clock in the morning, and I saw a baby selling weed. <laughs> I said, hey, baby, get out of here, selling weed. Like you make... <laughs> Are you laughing because you realize? I'm realized? laughing as he just, I just realized he was done. Like, I thought... <laughs> that, was, that was it. That's all you got. That's all you got on that one. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> we're bad bargaining chips, Robin Harris. Anyway. <laughs> Jay is a fucking asshole. I'm an asshole. Wow. You're a fucking asshole. Oh, oh, an asshole. That's what, that's, you, call, you called me a nigger. Oh my god. That's why you gotta laugh. That's what love. Yeah, yeah, how, was, no, I know. How am I an asshole? This, uh, no, how am I? How am I an asshole? Jay. It fucks with people. I'm how mad. Who did I, who, Robin Harris is dead. How did I fuck with him? <laughs> you fucking with Dave Chappelle. 
No, I'm just mentioning the other cows. <laughs> <laughs> I love Robin Harris. Exactly. They don't take no uh, black people hostage with bad bargaining chips. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some goddamn Qaddafi. Uh, you see black people on the plane. They walk right off saying, I'm got them hostage. <laughs> I'm a hostage. I'm fucking everything in Beirut. <laughs> Best comic right now. George, well, George Carlin was No, the not Carlin. I just He's normal motherfuckers. I, I try to find out a normal Zach motherfucker. Zach Galifianakis. Funniest guy. Who? Zach Galifianakis. He's know. like a he's like a genius. He's like Stephen Wright. He plays piano. Just says like I'm gonna YouTube that shit. I think I've seen that guy. Bring up uh, Zach yeah. Galifianakis. You bring me joy. He makes videos. Oh, oh, Kanye West. Zach Galifianakis. Kanye West. He's like a goofy white guy with a crazy beard, and he he'll just lip sync entire fucking hip hop videos. I know Zach. I, just, I know, you know Zach, Zach. But I was just. I, you got a hell of a poker face, bro. You just looked at me like I, I <laughs> thought he was joking. I didn't. I didn't. I expect Zach Galifianakis to come out. I think of, he's uh, hilarious. He makes me. I'm not. I'm, I'm I like not that kid. With I like that kid, Dimitri surprised. Martin, a lot. On the Comedy Central show. Really. I just like that stuff. I like stuff that I'm very I, surprised. I like stuff that I didn't see coming. I'm very surprised. I'm only surprised because you're tr you're more traditionally funny. I just like I see it all coming. You don't now. like Dimitri, <laughs> Patrice? I just don't. He says I, I don't laugh. I I laugh at fucking funny. Oh, uh, you know who my and, and again, is mm. Atel is my I, favorite. I, <clears throat> Atel is funny. Atel is my absolute like if he's yeah. at Caroline's, I have to go see him, and I'm. I'm powerless while I'm in the room. Like, I, I cry laughing. And that's rare. Atel is a funny... Like, when I say that, it's like Dimitri is like... Like, I go, oh, okay, I, get, I just... It's just funny to yeah. me. It's a good, oh, it's a good laugh. <clears throat> like, not, like, getting it. Nick DiPaolo is funny, too. <laughs> I like Nick. <laughs> You got sound on that. It's more of a visual, unfortunately. Well, yeah. It's just a <laughs> guy reenacting. Yeah. yeah. There's only three shots in a rap video. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He's on his. Who time. Hey, comments to you I think you said your fucking girlfriend Dean. I think. Uh, I think Corey's the one of the funny. I like Corey a lot. I like Corey a lot. I like Regan. Yeah, Brian. I love hilarious. Brian Regan. Brian yeah. Regan. Fucking um, hilarious. Hmm. Who I sit and I just watch, and I always go just like if I could sit and I just enjoy without being an asshole, mm -hmm. <laughs> like without being a comic, is is it's hard. Regan and Attell are guys like I can Attell's, watch, and I'm not Attell. a. Com I know what you mean. Like I'm not a comic. I sit there and I just go. <laughs> yeah, I just laugh like a man. You don't have to. Fuck. I don't. I don't dig. I don't dig through the shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, so, yeah. Oh, I like, see what he does here. Yeah, okay, I get it. Like, it's only it's a few. Have you guys noticed that Tal's got, like, this new character? I don't know if it's new, but, like, he's kind of gone into it. It's the... it he The audience doesn't know how much he hates them. <laughs> so he... Well, that's from that fucking... That, that fucking... Uh, from Insomniac. Insomniac. Because they all want him to drink. His and, like, fucking audience was oh. like, guy awful. His, his so audience he'll just, got awful. Like, but if you're in the audience and he knows you're in the audience, he'll look over and go, Yes... Play me a tune, or like just say something so bizarre to you, and he lets you know like this is the worst fucking I possible. Hate these I cannot believe my life is this stage right now. <laughs> they actually made the stage smaller at Caroline's to fit more of these morons here. <laughs> yes, this is illicit behavior. <laughs> like he'll just look at you dead in the that eye out of nowhere. Is funny man, he really is. Yes, he really is a funny dude. Where is Dean Edwards? We couldn't get him. Well, we don't have his uh, contact info, unfortunately. That's that good. Been, that would have been uh, a good way to wrap up today. Yeah, nice producers. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know how weird it is to get a uh, an itinerary for like press, and it's like Rachel Ray, The View, CBS Morning Show, and it goes, "Your contact is Steve Cardellesi." <laughs> like Steve, my contact. Yes. Yeah. And then I called him, and he doesn't answer, and his outgoing message is like some cartoon music. Uh, right. You meet, you meet David. Intern David? Yeah, he's a sweet boy. You like him? I mean, I just said I don't. He's... What's not to like? David. You want David for like one moment? You'd all be Why? dead if it wasn't for my son David. Hey, David, you know Jay Moore? Yeah, we met. He was very nice, David. No, I mean, do you know of him? David got a haircut. Yeah, I see that. David. Explain, David. What, what have I missed about David? Yes, I know of Jay Moore, yes. <laughs> he's, uh... What's wrong, he David? What's wrong, David? Nothing's wrong at all. You seem, I'm seem a little I, snippy I know today. You seem a little snippy. David, I just told them that I met you and you were a very nice boy. Yes, thank you so much. That's very nice of you. It's like a shit when we met. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't he perfect for Hollywood? 
for casting. Oh, behind perfect. the scenes. Who, David? I think yeah, David, you're asking David about me. Oh, no. Well, yeah, Aren't you yeah. impressed that I said shit off for me? Yes, I'm very impressed. <laughs> what, do you, what, what do you know about Jay Moore? Uh, I know a lot about I know him. you killed my Lord and Savior. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I know I'm a died in the wall cat. Like you got some spanking to do, punches. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding with give you, David. Give us the rundown on Jay Moore. What do you know about him? He's a good man, David. Oh, he's circumcised. He's a good guy. Comedian, like that. comedian, actor, uh, former host That's of generic. Last, Let's... Former host of Last Comic Standing. What's the name creator. of the show? What's the name creator of the show of right now? Standing. What's that? The show he's on right now. What's Gary the name? Unmarried. Well, there you go. Huh? Did you go to yeshiva? Where Where did you go to school? Sure. Really? No, not a yeshiva, not an orthodox one, no. Who does other comedians over the years say Jay looks just like? No, other what other comedians, other comedians, mm -hmm. when we talk, we say Jay looks just like this person? Looks like. Yes. Uh, just see how deep you know. That, 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 that I don't What sure other like. comic do I look like? No, no, no. Like what, Larry Burkhead? No, what the comedians say you look like. When we when we say you look like somebody, wow! I don't even know where you're going with this. I know Larry. I'm Burr. sure, that, I don't know that I'm sure this will be flattering. One. No, <laughs> a lady comes up to me at Starbucks. She goes, "Are you Matthew McConaughey?" And I looked at her and went, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah." I'm fucking Matthew McConaughey. Don't you see how fucking hot I am with Costa Rican pussy dripping off of my body? You dumb, stupid chai latte moron. That's me. I'm naked with bongo, smoking grass in Malibu on a 55th Street stunt. Yes, I'm, I'm Matthew McConaughey. You nailed it, sweetheart. Oh, fuck. You might as well come up to me and go, are you Alan Thick? <laughs> what? What does he look? Who does he look I like? Can't to answer you? That. I don't know. What, he, what does he look like? Patrice, to you? Are you talking about a specific actor or a comedian that he no. looks like? Well, well, who do you think he looks like? Then let's just yeah, go with that. Yeah, where are you going, Patrice? Where are you going with that? Uh, yeah, I'm, no I'm one going knows. Nowhere. What we do just, I look like? I don't know. You look like Marion Jones' like. husband. We just we was. One day, we, that was one, one day we sat around and said, That was if hilarious. You're in the sports world. That one, is very one day, funny. One day we sat around and said, <laughs> Jay Moore looks like Eric Stoltz from Mask. All right. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, okay. I've seen that. That's, not, mm. we, that's old. All right. Yeah, like, my, like I like I have deformities no! on my face. No, it's just you just got like a cured Eric Stoltz. I know Keith was there when you said oh, that. that. Yeah, I know Keith was there. Oh, cured Eric Stoltz. Stoltz. <laughs> Keith was there waiting for his fucking one fifteen spot for his free fucking shawarma. Oh. <laughs> you guys go there and eat and like you're. At, there too. You guys <laughs> eat like you're at Le Cirque when you're at the fucking comedy <laughs> cellar. You'll crowd around on a table. You write shit with the fucking chalk on the tables. That's like done. A bunch of big shots. <laughs> David. That was years ago. You never heard that, man? I just said I have heard it. He did, it. Yeah. He said okay. it. David, who does he look like? Who does this Jay Moore look like to you? Let me do this to my face. Uh, go look yeah. at <laughs> no, no, no. Stop pulling pins out of a map and crying. Like the mask. Who does no. he look like no. to you? I don't know. He doesn't really look like anyone. No. All right, we're not going to get anything out he of this. He doesn't look like anyone to David, me. David, how old are you? 26. What is your thing that they brought you in here like, uh, like it was going to be a big laugh when David comes in? Yeah. What is it? What's your guy? What's your thing? The one guy was no homo. I remember that guy. <laughs> right. I, and I, I got rid of him quick, didn't I? <laughs> yes, you did. I put my... You know what happened that day, Patrice? You were there. <laughs> when I came to sit... What was his name, Bobby? I don't even remember anymore. What? Right. Craig. Oh, Craig, 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 right, right. You're saying, is it gay if you see this? Is it gay if you see that? And then you're sitting in that chair, and I came with my pants off, and I put my entire... Package and asshole on it. I held him down and I put on his face in that. <laughs> and then I stood up and went, No, no homo. No homo. <laughs> like, I, full, I basically raped this person. <laughs> you remember that? Why? Remember why that. That's the last time you were here. I, I, I think he's you do look, He really is a big fan of Jay's. You That's do look I'm angry, though, David. No, I'm not angry at all. I'm a big fan. You're right, Patrice. I'm yeah, a big he's fan. He's a big fan. fan. He's just a little. He right. doesn't want to offend Jay. What makes you a big fan of Jay Moore? I watch his movies. I, I watch. Hey, what's your favorite Jay Moore movie? Mine's Suicide Kings. I yeah. Suicide Kings. Yeah. No, 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 no. That one's great. You still get sex from that? My ex wife will get that one. Oh, that, that shit. she worked very hard on that movie. Are you shitting me? She got the fucking checks to that movie. I bought her out though. So God damn, I didn't do what you did. Fuck, dude. I didn't do what you did. I, did. I went Beat for it. the extension. I wrote plan. a check with two commas. Thanks, Dave. And I washed my hands of it. Speaking of Pontius Pilate, I washed my hands of this woman. Fuck. You just oh, won. you don't give up nothing. I'm done though. Uh, what? You know, nothing to her. Very soon. I gave her everything. I gave her everything I had, and I walked out of the Jesus. lawyer's office. Like there's no, I don't give her you, you any don't give alimony. Nothing else, you, but you well, gave child up. support. She lives off child support probably. Ugh. Plus the everything you had at the time. One point six. Oh. Like this. That's there for you. Go. And what did you do for yourself? I started doing Tuesdays at the Irvine Improv. <laughs> from getting the door. I got 
hundred percent of the door, and they said, "We'll give you eighty percent of the door." I said, "Fuck you! You're closed, stupid. Give me a hundred percent of the door. You're closed on Tuesdays." And they said, "That's a fair point." <laughs> they were closed, so I picked the night. They were closed, so I can get the door. I went out and I fucking made it happen. I didn't sit on my ass like the fucking you know what's like the who. I don't know. People don't want to work. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Easy CBS. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, this isn't you, any W. Yeah, you, you, don't, you don't even get you to have a lot to lose. You don't even days. get to have to, you don't get to have in your window anymore. Right. I said, you know people that don't want to wait. Shut you your know. fucking face. Just, just drop you it. You know what? <laughs> I'm helping you. Look, Corey Holcomb. Maybe you think he can fight. <laughs> I, I don't know if he can fight. But I'm just saying, it looks like he, Corey will knock a dude in the head. Talent looked like he probably could fight. Talent? I haven't seen talent in a while, but I bet he could fight. I was on a basketball team with talent down at um. Chelsea Piers? These are black men. Look at me and like, Frosty. Huh? Me, and Frosty. Uh, <laughs> me and Frosty. Me and Frosty. Me and Frosty were the only white guys on the team. No one will fucking pass the basketball if you play intramural basketball in a mixed race league. <laughs> Everyone's fucking Dwayne Wade at Chelsea Piers. Like a guy will inbound the ball and then get it right back and then go coast to coast five on one like oh ball 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 like screaming for the foul <laughs> and you're out of the three point line like yeah <laughs> <laughs> and where you supposed to be like, <laughs> just like a white boy who can't shoot a three point is useless that was me <laughs> <laughs> that was shit and Frosty can't either but Frosty's like Bill Walton under the boards he's yeah, crazy Frosty's a beast man he's a beast under the boards <laughs> so I our first game I go down and I'm on the three point line in the corner and so like uh, maybe it was Dean no who Who's the little tiny guy? He's on TV now. He's in movies. Little Kev. Kevin. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart passed me the ball on the wing, and I put up like this stupid like Kenny Smith shot <laughs> with that this ball, like to, the knuckleball <laughs> Kenny Smith shot, right, just, and I no switched it. And then you got to jog up the court like you like you're cool, but it, I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> like you don't understand, I'm a one percent three point shooter, <laughs> and I get halfway up the court, and I hear Frosty go, Juju, Juju, and I look over, and he goes, "That was hilarious." <laughs> I'm like, shut up, stupid. They don't know. They just think I'm a white guy that's a point guard. <laughs> Can you tell me this story that you you gave somebody a vitamin B shot? Jason Steinberg. I didn't give it to him. Do you know that? That's people, what we call steroids. The then. word is they blame you for Jason losing it. Jason, first of all, Jason, yeah, yeah. you, you got right. to explain Jason Stein. No one knows. He's a strange. I know, I know. I know, he, I know. He, he managed a bunch of you guys. He manages Rich Voss. Are you still managing uh, Rich? I no, thought Rich I said so. goodbye too. Yeah, he yeah. had a bunch of you guys. He's an, he's nice. He's yeah. kind of like the but land he, of broken I, toys. And I love the guy managers. too. We traveled together and all that shit. But it's like <laughs> the, I I wanted to always the the story is that here's what happened. He made Jay Jay's a little a little funny sometimes. <laughs> right. And that that this fucker did something to him to make that's the the no the, the, no way. This is what happened. Jason Steinberg and I met for breakfast. <laughs> I was going down to my doctor. It was cold and flu season. I sound like David. It was cold and flu season. Uh. And I was going down to my doctor, Dr. Frank, who was a mafia doctor, total mob doctor, who would give you like all pills you needed. And he'd bring in all he wanted. was like, every once in a while, you bring in your girlfriend. He'd go, JJ, she got a big bush. That's what he asked. This doctor would ask me, with her standing there, she got a big bush. I go, she got a big bush. He goes, all right, take these. And he goes, <laughs> but don't tell the nurse, she'll charge you. So you get like Xanax and Viking, you get whatever you want. Okay. Back when I was, you know, using. All right. Back when I was using. <laughs> I want my tight pants so the doctor would give me more product. I haven't had a drug or drink in my body in Thank 23 years. Thank God I have gambling years. to fall back. I want a black chick checking me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can play Rich Voss records while he's on stage, and he can just lip sync his own shit. <laughs> <laughs> the Ashley Simpson of comedy. <laughs> Rich Voss. What a fucking zilch. I hope he calls in just to hear a sleepy fucking stupid voice. All right, we can get him before we leave. Now, uh, uh, is but, that the end of the story? Right. No, no, sorry. It's not, right? Uh, you so stun gunned him, didn't you? Oh, that's a different story. Yes, that's I a guess. different story. That's a different story. What an asshole. Jay is a fucking asshole. <laughs> All right, so it is asshole. Jay. Let me ask you a question. He fucking and stunned him and goes, this is a different story. <laughs> I'm taking the stun gun story. This fucking tell me some Xanax story. You asked me about a B12 shot. Yeah, the let's B12, go back to the, the B12, B12 shot. The B12 and the fucking stun gun, but they're two different things. I thought word on the street was word on the street. You people got it all messed up. Uh -huh. yeah, okay, all the comics are ruining I, these stories. I go down to my doctor to get a vitamin B12 shot, which was uh, what I did all the time. I still do it all the time. Like, I'll get them once in a while. Okay. I get a vitamin B12 shot. Jason Steinberg's with me. We're going to breakfast next. 
The doctor goes, you want a vitamin B12 shot? He goes, yeah, I'll have vitamin B12 shot. So he takes out another, he shoots me with a vitamin B12 shot. This is vitamin B, like a fucking multivitamin, right? Yeah. He shoots Jason Steinberg 30 seconds after me. <laughs> no, he shoots Jason first. <laughs> Then he gets a new needle, then he shoots me in my ass with a vitamin B, different needles, with a vitamin B12 shot. Jason Steinberg falls at the mouth and has a seizure and starts flopping around on the ground like a full on fucking grandma seat. Meanwhile, I have just been injected 18 seconds after this guy's foot. So I'm waiting for me. Yeah, they saw it. And they go, and Dr. Frank goes, What's going on? Like, he was a doctor's <laughs> assistant that acted like a doctor. What's going on with your friend? What the fuck happened? <laughs> he's like four. This guy was like five feet tall, like super fat. He like you know Holy like shit. he look. And so he picks Jason up like under his armpits and puts him in the chair and goes, "Wake up!" Like he's panicking. He's slapping. Him. He goes, "Wake up! This is not normal. Your friend is very strange." Uh, oh, your friend, he goes, go to the corner, get him orange juice. And meanwhile, I just got shot with this. I go, I'm not fucking going anywhere. Because I don't want to be halfway down the street. I don't want to be half fucking stories. I don't want to be halfway down the street. I don't want to be halfway down Spring Street and have my seizure. The fucking story over the years was that you stuck him personally with a fucking vitamin B12. Shot. Wow, is that No, funny. the doctor gave it and he had a seizure because what he didn't <laughs> oh, tell anyone is he had, he had been awake for four straight days. Oh, shit. Like, come shit. to my party. I'm promoting a party. Peggy Sue's, come to my party. It's going to be great. And then by the time the vitamin B12 hit his body, like 6,000 cc <laughs> of vitamin B12, his heart flipped out and he had a seizure because he'd been awake for four days and his body's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, we need his hand. We need to go the other oh way with this. Oh, my God. But he's flopping around, like, foaming, like, put something in his mouth, like, you know, Francis Farmer, oh, like, electric shock therapy. Jesus, that's The stun funny. gun story is someone, fucking funny, man. Somebody brought a stun gun. Yeah, by the way, <laughs> you're one of the funniest people I've ever heard on this show. Every time you're on the show, you make me laugh. Thank you, and beautiful. Just, I don't want you to ever, I don't want you to leave here not thinking that I think you're as fucking hilarious <laughs> as you are. <laughs> so... The uh, the stun gun story is we were at this club, Peggy Sue's, and Keith, this kid, uh, Keith was a fire. It's not Keith the cop, but another Keith. Yeah. Who was a cop. Second Jason Steinberg. Yeah. He comes in and he's got his stun gun. This one, the all NYPD had stun. It was brand new. We're like, holy shit, this is all. It wasn't the one that shot. It was the one yeah, that had the one you had to put it against the body. Yeah, yeah. And I go, can I try it? And he goes, yeah. So I go and I just walk up behind Jason Steinberg and I put it on his ass and I shot him. And, he, and he's on the dance floor. <laughs> he's on the dance floor and he goes, Aah! And I remember the exact oh song. My God. It was Tribe Called Quest. And he's like, Tanya, Tracy, bam. And he's calling out all the girls' names. You know what song I'm talking about? I don't know. Do you know what I'm talking about? Low End Theory. I don't know that one, but. The song where uh, Fife is calling all the names of the girls. Yeah. I'm talking about Tanya, Tracy, <laughs> and, 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 and it was right there. And Jason Stein was going like this. And people were like, oh! <laughs> but I had to do it and get out of there because I didn't want them to know that I actually gave him a stun gun. <laughs> Oh my God! So those are the actual yeah. stories. Jesus, Jay. Oh fuck me, man. Everyone, by the way, is saying you're killing things. Oh, that's Gary oh. Oh. unmarried on CBS. Rich oh. Voss is on the line. Rich. Oh, oh, oh! You're talking about Jason and Evan? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Jason and Evan. Did you, did you talk about Evan's bro uh, his brother Evan? They went to a. Uh, they were going to a house to a uh, to a dinner. Cor Corey was having a dinner, so as they're leaving. Uh, oh. Jason says, "Can I, uh, you know, take some home with me, some food?" I'm, I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing like, what do you call it? Uh, echo. Dead air. Hear echo. Dead air. <laughs> are you hearing an echo? That's what he took home. <laughs> Bloody fucking tired, sweetheart. Boss, what kind of story is this? <laughs> I want to tell a story by keeping it really? on my phone. What? Oh, you Boss, I I set you up to tell a story and be cool, and you call it. And Evan, no one mentioned Evan in the last hour. No one even knows who's. Shut up, stupid. We're cakes for nuts. He's on hold for twenty. Hey, boss, say I want sushi in church on Tuesday. Oh yeah. Oh, you gonna take that? Oh yeah, go. Well, that's why you're doing one nighters, Rich. All right, let's get out of here. Where do you guys go? Oh, the show's oh, over? Wow. Yeah, it ends early. The show's now, over. Because we uh, don't do the other thing anymore. Oh, uh, shit. Patrice, you're going to be at Bananas in Poughkeepsie March 27th? 28th. And 28th. Yeah.
Wow. Fuck it. Gary, I'm married. Oh. Well, how about we get the ratings to jump a little bit? Just a little more for oh, you? Oh, yeah. I'd like a second when, season. You doing auditions? Can I audition for something? Here? I would make... I, if you were in town, I would just say, I know the guy for this. I've done that a couple times. That'd be nice. Just give Thanks. me a I would totally do that. I'll do it. Yeah, you put me on a dumb thing. And I'm, and I'm a nobody. I put I you... Thought, you I were, found you those pictures great. recently. The NB, WNBA... I found to the you, Mr. WNBA stalker. Yeah. I take care of my friends. He does. WNBA? No, when he was doing his uh, more sports thing. I happened to be out, we did out a, in L.A. I called him, and the next thing you know... That. that was the original... Ooh, well, I don't know if you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. Do that? No, no, no. I was going to say, because I think I, I think, oh, a, I think a Jim Rome... <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a, it wasn't a, it wasn't anything like a gym. Oh, no, role. it was the it's original the same time slot. It was the what original a, like kind jerk. of show what like a, what, a jerk. what a douche. Really, all the comments oh, gave you. No, no, that's no, how you that was the, the original blood. <laughs> it was the original. Look at not Louis C.K. <laughs> it was the it was the original like show like that is what I'm saying. And I thought of Jim Rome. I don't know. And then I'm like, it uh, was the Tonight Show, but only sports. The monologue was yeah, sports. That's what I'm I'd saying. bring out Jeff Garcia, and then I would bring like Dennis. We had great, like, Dennis Leary came, like, oh, why I, didn't that, what the fuck happened there? I called the president of the network a fucking cocksucker on the yeah. Craig Kilborn show. Ah. I said, no, I love ESPN, but Mark Shapiro is a fucking cocksucker. Oh, 16 smart. time slots in 25 weeks. They just kept moving us around. He did, it wasn't his show. Like, we had the show. Mm. Say something. I'm just saying oh. that they, so they booted you off for that shit. Well, we got like a point three rating and a point four rating. Which, which is, is three, 400,000 people. That's not bad. Well, we know that now because now everything that's been in that time slot since, that's what they get. What, is, what does Rome get? About what? Fucking oh, I don't know. He's a monster. What? What? <laughs> I, uh, I just don't. Uh, Jim Rome. What is that about? Yeah, I just don't. Like I don't. Patrice O'Neill. The more that is clever. That is great. The more sports. It, he, it, it was a good he, show. He just it, was good. it was a great Patrice idea. Anthony Opie, talk to me. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> that is fresh. That does not suck. <laughs> that is nice. Why don't you get your ass out of bed and get on the Opie and Anthony radio show? I don't. It's that is just, great. Uh, good Jim Rome. Uh, I, and I love. I love that whole Cal, block. Again, Caliendo. That whole block. Yeah. That whole yeah. block of. Caliendo, Dean said, Edwards, Jay Moore. Who do you got? Caliendo, Dean Edwards, Jay Moore. I need, here's, here's the thing. Oh, man. You need me Make to do fucking decision. George Bush? No, no, How about I whip out on Nixon? <laughs> Ready? He's done enough. Those goddamn Ready? Jews, Henry. Henry. And, and I'm not lying about <laughs> Silent this. majority. I'm going to tell you something. The mixture of funny and, and, and well-done impressions, Jay. Yeah. Because it's as not. As opposed to what? Not as funny, opposed, not well done. No, 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 no. As opposed as to. Oh, I like that. Oh, that was good, buddy. The slow clap. They're slow to, clapping you out there. To Caliendo, who does great impressions, but that's what Caliendo does is great impressions. I, I like. He, I, I wouldn't <laughs> be sitting TBS, here. Very funny. Just <laughs> oh. fucking exactly. Someone should have told Frank Caliendo that you cannot do John McCain and you cannot do Barack Obama. Just because, like, just because it's timely doesn't mean you put on a wig and just get at it. How when about he, ba Charles Barkley? Is Charles Barkley any respect for Of course I can do Charles Barkley. Any respect for Charles Barkley? I can do it myself. Dwayne Wade is great. He's going to put 50 points on the Knicks. Of course he is. The only reason I did a drunk driving is so I can get a blowjob around the corner. <laughs> it's the same voice as Muhammad Ali, but Muhammad Ali, you go up a little bit and you rhyme more. I don't like the fact that he has a scientific theory to him because this is the, like the tenth time that he's theorized he's his, that fucking, shit. his fucking impression. Yeah. I didn't Charles realize. Charles Barkley, that, I didn't that's why the Golden State Jay Warriors. Was such a, a, a fucking serious impression. Yes. That's why the Warriors are such a scrub team. But I mean, what else do you call a scrub team? They have 11 wins. That's a scrub team. And I don't think he likes the fact that he's not known as a great impressionist. I don't give a shit. Just pay me. <laughs> I would, I I would literally I would clean these windows if they, if they paid the same. I don't give a shit what I would do. Why? Because I've reached the point. You reach a point where there's so much political network. You like I gotta explain to you guys bullshit that you get to the point where it's in Goodfellas. Oh, you had a fire. Fuck you. Pay Fuck me. Fuck you. Pay me. I don't care. I'll be at the Irvine Improv. I'll be at some casino in fucking Sasquahama Hama in Washington and upstate and. That's it. He's not like uh, a particular... <laughs> ah, ah. He'll go, Daddy, you want to hear something funny? What's two plus two? I'll go, what? He'll say, cookie. 
<laughs> and I'll just stare at him. But I don't like go, oh, that's great. I look at him like, that's dumb. That's all. <laughs> that's a great way to raise kids. Just be so adult with them. Just, like you, ma- stunk. you can maybe mix that in the middle, but I wouldn't do it up top or at the end. Like, you can blend it in as, you know, at like minute 11. Just say it as an aside while you sip your coffee. Don't open like that. Second show Friday, you could say that after you ask a waitress for coffee. <laughs> What's the name of the club in Poughkeepsie? Bananas. 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 Now, is it Friday, Saturday, or Saturday, Sunday? Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Now, who's there? Why aren't you there Sunday? I don't know. He wants to run. He's trying to get his his chick pregnant. Mm. You know, he needs Sunday. Let's best. take a break and, she, uh, okay. and regroup. Uh, Let's take a goddamn break. Jay Moore, first time in studio in like two years. <laughs> <laughs> Last time you were in, you were naked. You don't do the naked thing anymore, right, Jay? No. <laughs> but that's what uh, I'm a CBS employee, man. I get a play straight there list. I already dropped two N-bombs. Yeah. Gary oh, Unmarried, of course, on, the, on CBS. Okay. Mm. That's, that's why Jay's in New York City. I stand by them. I'm, I'm here. I and, stand by them. Oh, by the way, tomorrow our live St. Patrick's Day broadcast, Connolly's 47th in uh, Madison. See things. Kevin Connolly from Entourage? No. Good guest. Be right back. Hey there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're just talking about comedies. <laughs> hey, how's your place doing? Which one? F.H. Riley's. It, it's kicking. It's really good. Good. And a lot of restaurants closed in Huntington because of the economy, so those people are starting to push toward F.H. But not my Opie's. No, we're doing all right. Well, my brother, he's, he knows what he's doing. I mean, I, all I do is push people in that direction, and then he keeps them with the food and the service and all that shit. We were just talking about uh, comedies. Step Brothers. There's no spanking scene in Step Brothers. Isn't there a spanking scene in Step Brothers? He, no, he, takes, didn't, he, he takes away the TV, and yeah. they go, this is bullshit. It's fucking <laughs> Shark Week. Yeah. There were some funny. This house scenes. is a fucking prison, and the other guy goes on planet bullshit, and the other guy goes in the universe of sucks camel dick. Jay just said before we went on air, I got to like set this up that Step Brothers was uh, the funniest comedy you've ever seen ever, in, in recent it, years. No, ever. Caddyshack, funnier, way funnier. I love Caddyshack. I love Caddy. Yeah. It used to be the In Laws was the funniest. In Laws is the funniest is movie. One of the greatest comedies made. ever. And then when you tell people that, and they go, the old one or the remake, <laughs> right. and then you get in a fist fight. Right? <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, what the, the, the remake Midnight was... Run, no, 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 Midnight Run's not up there with you? I hate the other bounty hunter character, and I think it's completely unnecessary. Watch your cigarettes around this guy. Oh, that guy, yeah, Like, yeah. he's just there. Let's talk about somebody that could have been edited out of a movie. Mm. <laughs> Look at Elton Brand coming out with her new shirt. That is a big dude in the paint. You do not want to post up on Tyra. <laughs> I did that show. It was like standing next to Fred Gwynn. <laughs> I swear her makeup. She, she was like she was like green. She looks like a tranny, right? She's a giant. She used to be so effing hot, but now I was on Jimmy Kimmel with her. Yeah, and she says to me during the commercial break, she goes, "Everyone in my dressing room was like, girl, that Jay Moore is fine.'" I'm like, "All right, well, let's see what happens. Let's let's get some. You know, she's probably hanging out with a bunch Seriously, of hot models." Yeah, I go in there, I'm like, and I go in her dressing room like by mistake. Like, just taking off my jacket, like, here I am, my dressing room. All gay guys. Uh, <laughs> ah, fucking, like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't know I did Tracy? I absolutely didn't know, because I know, again, Dean does Tracy also. Dean Edwards is, he's nah, got a I great gotta call Tracy. this guy out now. I have to he's put, got a great I Tracy. Tracy. I will, I will put Dean's Tracy. Can we find Tracy. Dean right now? You I'll, got Dean's number? Uh, no. Let's challenge, let's do the challenge right now. I, Jay Moore versus Dean Edwards. I, but only Tracy Morgan things, showdown. But, I know, I, Tracy, Mo- Dean does a tremendous Tracy Morgan. But Dean's black. That, you don't get points, motherfucker, for that shit. Well, how many yeah. white people are you doing? Nothing. How many white people do does Dean do? I don't fucking do impressions. How many white people does Dean do? I think Dean does, does he do the, I know. You know, no, fuck that. I, I know. I Dean. know a white guy. Dean does. He does the white guy in every black guy's act. Hey, pal, how are you? No, uh, no, 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 no. Look out, Maggie. Yeah, Here I'm come the Negroes. Mow my lawn. Get back in the car. Here come the Negroes. But Maggie. that's how you guys sound. But but that's not how we sound. That's how fucking Tony Gwynn sounds. No, that's how you guys. That's how Tony Dungy sounds. That's how Romeo Crennel sounds. You're from Jersey, but there's some white guys. You sound just like that. Yeah. Every guy, that's how black guys sound. What? That's how Brian Gumble sounds. That's not true. Oh, uh, tell me why. That's, <laughs> that's, why. Him, that's him trying to be white. That's his impression. That's not an impression, but that's like... And Greg like, Gumble, he's trying to be white to just all no, 24-7. He's just, he's just trying to not Tony, scare people. Tony Gwynn. I right, just try to hit the baseball as best as I can and go to the Hall of Fame in five years. <laughs> Fucking Cal Ripken sounds like a dick-holding brother compared I'll put, to Tony Gwynn. I'll, I'll, put Dean, I'll put Dean's Tracy up against your Tracy. Well, let's get does, Dean on does the phone. He do an a, does he do, he like, actual number? things, or oh, does man. he just regurgitate Tracy stuff? No, he fucking... Oh. He does sm- little inside, hilarious, like, shit that's 
<laughs> Tracy, like inner, really like. He knows Tracy, right. so he can just watch. Someone him. out there has got Dean's number. Just tell Dean to call our show. I know or you legendary. <laughs> you like Richard Pryor with the gold shoes on, choking out the big man on the seventeenth floor. I'm gonna fuck with Patrice now. <laughs> <laughs> I miss keep my going, wait, keep going. I, I miss my daughter. Let me close my eyes. I miss my daughter with a doo doo pamper. <laughs> doo doo pamper, big girl. I'm on a big girl with a doo doo pamper. <laughs> I miss my daughter. With a doo doo pamper. <laughs> you gotta say it over and over if you're gonna be Tracy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Jay Moore's my uncle. <laughs> what? <laughs> fucking good, man. Pamper is. But you had to close your I, eyes to I make thought, it good. I thought, because you, you're looking at Jay's giant face. <laughs> I got a pink man in there. Let me see. <laughs> Number to, 18, Pamper. Jay Manning. I thought Tracy was in the fucking room for a second. Yeah. Well, then they have it. Where's Dean's impression? And you got to admit, I grew, up, I grew up talking like this. How are you, fella? <laughs> <laughs> fucking stupid so black comics. Get, black get... comics stink. <laughs> He's so terrible. <laughs> you ever see a white motherfucker take a shit? I'm taking a shit now. Here I go. Plop. Oh, look out. But a nigga be like, mm, I'm shitting. Fuck it. <laughs> Walking across the stage with the stick up his ass walk. Ah, hi, everybody. How are you? How are you? Hiya, pal. Hey, fella. How are you? How are you? And then black guys will always go, you know, the white man keeps us back and holds us down. Like, that's the fucking guy holding you back? <laughs> yeah. Why do you make me sound a little more spooky? No offense. <laughs> no offense. Why do you make me sound like a pirate? Like, I can't give you the apartment. <laughs> we never read your application. <laughs> Instead of like, hi, sorry, I can't give you a gated community home. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, fella. I'm holding you back. I'm the most powerful race in the world. I'm retarded. <laughs> I'm so retarded. You know that, that you're is, being held that's back. That's exactly that is, true. That is very Dev Jam 92, though. No, well, no, but black comics don't do that anymore. What? I, I, I don't know about that. that. Holy shit. None of, none Go to Caroline's there. Watch your pal now. Chappelle's doing that. When he's not looking at himself in the mirror in the back of the room. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen a guy that likes to look at himself more on stage? I haven't talked about You know about what he is? Since, uh... He's a sore winner. <laughs> That's that's a good that's, that's a, a deep call. Fucking that's a, that's, a, that's my it. wife said. That's it right there. Cause you know what he is? He's a sore winner. He, uh, Jesus, Jay, I got to remind it's you. Very poignant. We're gonna get Dean Edwards on for the Tracy Morgan showdown, but I got to remind Jay the Seinfeld thing. Oh I'm yeah, I'm curious about this because I'm kind of with you on this. If you're gonna set it up though, Seinfeld no, I know. Do... I'm going to. I just had to remind him that he Seinfeld... wanted to do this. Thank you, sweetie. Seinfeld can do like. Um... He can really talk about anything, and people, just because it's Seinfeld and they paid $100 a ticket, will be like, That's so funny! Mm -hmm. It's so true, because it's like everyday stuff! <laughs> uh, and now, now, that's my impression of a white this, lady. Now this, now this theory... I, my, my white impression is like... That's right. when I do a white guy. I go, yeah, but stay well, with the Seinfeld uh, thing because uh, what Jay's, what you got a pipe and an ascot? Yes, my, it's more like like the uh, well. I. What, what, what Jay's saying though, because he's Jerry Seinfeld, he gets a lot of wiggle so room, and, saying and he's saying he's not a funny guy, right? Uh, well, I, I think I know he's funny. <laughs> I know he's funny. I'm just saying he gets a lot of wiggle room, right? Like, what well, name something? Well, we need a scenario, like no, uh, you know, just name a product. A, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Procter and Gamble. That's a company. That's a company. Like Tied. A, Socks. Uh, 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 Snuggies. Snuggies? What are those? Pampers. You don't know what a Snuggie is? Where no. have you been? Snuggies been uh, about, being uh, sold ready? during the Christmas season. No, just tell me what they are. White women's uniform. It's the blanket with it's, sleeves. It's a blanket with sleeves. Uh, what's the deal? White women's uniform. Uggs. What's the deal with white women? Uggs. I want to wear boots, but I don't want to be troubled with laces. If I can find something that's a bit like a slipper and a sock, put it on my feet, and look like a complete moron, then I maybe I could wear Uggs. I don't know, that wasn't the best example. <laughs> I want to wear boots, but I don't want to be bothered with laces. How about an Ugg? <laughs> <laughs> this is the shoe wear for the laziest people on the planet. I want to wear boots, I want my feet to be warm, but I don't want to tie anything. <laughs> I want my feet warm, I want to hit the streets, <laughs> but I don't want to be slowed down by tying anything when I get up in the morning. Wait, I'll help you along. Keep you would totally... Keep no, going. I absolutely this, see what well, you're this, talking about. This is what the crowd People does. would be howling do, at that. Do a little more, because I got the crowd for you. Okay. Uh, what's the deal with socks? I want to wear shoes, but I don't want my feet inside my shoe. 
I need a buffer, a DMZ, between my actual foot and the shoe. <laughs> Women. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Would you black never women. fucking say this? This is completely. Oh no! You black women. Never go here. What's the deal with black women and their wigs? If a white woman wears a wig to work, the entire office says, "I think she's sick." Let's <laughs> hit the button there. <laughs> black women wear a different wig every day. Yeah. You know that's amazing. Yesterday your hair was four inches shorter. <laughs> now today it's nice and long. <laughs> I, never, I never understood hats. I don't wear hats. I'm not a hat wearing person. It just seems odd to me that I want to go out and walk around town, but I don't want anyone to see my hat. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of making a point. If I'm he's comfortable kinda... enough with the company I keep, if I go to a fancy place, then, and only then, will I take the hat off and let people see my head. <laughs> Is he nailing it? He's nailing it. I don't know. It's not, I'm not, I've got a much it. better... <laughs> but it's more... I'm getting the point, though. It's so bizarre. <laughs> I love Patrice. He's my uncle. You want to hear a good Tracy story? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> me and Tracy are at the Boston Comedy Club, and he comes up to me afterwards. He goes, Yo, Jay Moores. I don't know why brothers always put an S at the end of my name. Jay oh, Moore's. shit. You that actor, Jay Moores. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Moores, you want to go get nice? So I go, yeah. So we go out down by like the fire station down there, and he pulls a, a big joint out, and he can't light. He's like, Yo, big man, give me some shelter. Open your coat up for me. So I open up my coat and he's bending down. Looks like he's blowing me and he's like lighting a joint. <laughs> and he gives me, gives it to, he smokes like half up. This is a true story. He gives it to me and I smoke it and it feels like glass is going down my throat and I vomit like instantly. And I go, what, what the fuck was that? And he goes, oh, you never smoked PCP before? <laughs> you never smoked sherm? You didn't smell it? <laughs> okay. Holy shit. So I'm not a fag. We finished the joint, right? <laughs> And then for like an hour, we're just walking around the village and we're like, we're punching cars. Like, we're just walking up and down like Waverly, just punching up fucking cars. Like, you gotta get yourself a Mercury. So he takes me to that club Life on uh, Bleecker, I think yeah. it is. And yeah. it's the all black club that's downstairs. And I'm the only white guy in there. I, I mean, you know, you've been there. It's like since the fucking, they signed the fire permit. I'm the only white guy that's been in there. <laughs> and I am. Hi, hi. I mean, I never smoked that shit before. Like, I'm crazy. I don't he like... gave you unbeknownst to you. You didn't PCP. smell it. You didn't smell it. You didn't smell the PCP. You didn't smell it. You, you never smoked sherm. Like, that's what his what his hand to his mouth. You didn't smell it. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my daughter, Jay Moore. He don't have a daughter, by the way. I miss my daughter. She's a big girl with a doo doo pepper. You know, I miss my daughter, Patrice O'Neill. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Patrice when his name was Johnny Carson. <laughs> <laughs> it don't matter. It don't have to make sense. It doesn't with him. Jay Moore's my uncle. <laughs> so he takes me to life and he orders uh, Dom Perignon for like every woman in this place. So he gives out like 60 bottles of Dom Perignon. And I had just come from some bizarre gig and I was wearing a suit. No tie, but like a suit. And uh, the waiter comes over and puts the check in front of me because he thinks I'm like fucking Tracy's accountant or something because I'm the only white guy in there. <laughs> Tracy goes, yo, what the fuck is that? That's racism. I'm the rich nigga in here. <laughs> he takes his fucking shirt off and punches the waiter in the face. The waiter goes, ah, like feet up in the air. Out. Out, like gone. Like there was just some waiter like putting a check down. Just <laughs> bow. I'm the rich nigga up in here. <laughs> bow. And then the bouncers come out and they just start fucking Donny and Tracy like stomping and I heard the word nigger and I run out of the club because I'm on PCP <laughs> I might have said it yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, ever like do acid and you're like I can't believe I said all of that out loud <laughs> <laughs> so I'm on the sidewalk like just standing there like I have no idea like how to behave alone on PCP because I've only had like this Batman and Robin relationship with my first PCP experience with Tracy. Mm -hmm. So I'm just standing on the sidewalk waiting. And then finally, they, you know, it's downstairs, that club. They grab him by the ass of his pants and his neck. Like he's, he's naked. He's got no shirt on. And they throw him up the steps. Oof. Like airborne. And this is big Tracy. And he lands on the sidewalk. This is when he was big. Yeah. And they throw his fucking shirt at him. And it lands on his head like a cartoon. <laughs> and he stands up and he goes, yeah. That's
that's how you get out of paying for the check, Jay Moore. <laughs> <laughs> and he walks to the fucking 4th Street subway and goes in it. Just walks down the street like the Incredible Hulk. Wow. Hey, with his shirt over his shoulder. <laughs> that's how you get out of paying for the check, Jay Moore. They gave him the old end. It don't matter. It doesn't wow. matter. Fuck it, man. Holy shit. I miss the blue genie Kool-Aid. You drink it with a crazy straw. <laughs> Don't scratch my yellow Lamborghini. That's canary yellow in the honeycomb hot out. Ride out. <laughs> I, might, I might have to. Fuck, no, I'll take Dean Edwards. I'll, I'll, I'll give him a big old kiss. You're, you're all in, right? I, I, I love Dean Edwards. Dean Edwards is my aunt. The more he's doing the more he's doing the 